going on, LSG fan? Welcome back to another episode of the LSG Podcast, your favorite podcast for anything and everything pop culture. My name is Jet, alongside the greatest panel in the world, Andrea, John, J-Mag, and Cody. Get the and this is going to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to make the rounds, trying to make the rounds. J-Mag, what, did, I, did, I do, did I do years last week? Yeah, you yes, did. You yeah. did. Okay, all right. Brain power. Uh, this is going to be a very, very, very jam-packed episode. We are less than, I'll just say, a week away. That was three that days. Was that, was yeah, that was a good catch, right? Yeah, that was we good. are three days away. Is that what you said? Three days away? Yep. Three, three days away. away from Deadpool and Wolverine, one of the most anticipated movies of the year. Uh, the whole panel will be there day one, showing one, and we will have that review out. But by the time you're seeing this, you know, it'll be too late. It'll be up. (laughs) So (laughs) go check that out. Um, obviously by the next pod, we'll be talking about it a little bit more, but yeah. So we got a lot of Marvel topics and in anticipation for Deadpool and Wolverine, we're going to be ranking the Fox Marvel movies. Um, so that should be pretty fun. And then at the end, we will give our final thoughts um, on Deadpool and Wolverine going into it, um, our predictions on the ratings, and how it will perform at the box office. But LFG always starts with the news, and we got to keep you guys in the loop, because if you can't keep up with anything, LFG keeps up with everything. So J-Mac, what's in the news? Oh, yeah. Uh, Deadpool will ring. Can't wait. Andrea is personally excited. I know she is. Her expectations are through the roof, right, Andrea? She can get to go. Yes. I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Never uh, seen it, but I'm very excited. All right. Never seen any of the Wolverine movies or Deadpool movies, but I am so excited. But she's gonna watch them both together at the same time. Right, first time. Let's go. <laughs> there you go. I forgot to do this last week, so let me do it now. John, any news from McDonald's this week? Mm. (laughs) cookies and cream pie there you go (laughs) there you guys go are they they good it was all right it's like it's like a pop tart sell the company (laughs) <laughs> all right <laughs> promotion it. john you're gonna get a it promotion. was good Rate it was it. the best pie i had ever had there we go uh, there we go you guys out of what out of what 10 uh, 10 yeah out of 10 out of the ones i've tried there's more than one well of all the pies how many pies i mean oh, this man. one was like a, i don't know like a seven Eight. That's solid. That's solid. That's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. all right. That's that solid. Makes me it, I agree. It. Yeah, I agree. No, it's it. not bad. It's a, it's a good pie. I agree with it. <laughs> well, there you guys <laughs> go. If you guys haven't had it yet, go go to your uh, local it, McDonald's. It, it and go better get hold up in two hours. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> and we're not different... sponsored, by the way. Okay, uh, no, I'm. We're not sponsored. He just works there. I ain't no fucking manager neither. So let's simmer the fuck down. He's our. I forget. I just clock in. There you go. Let's get straight into the news now. Uh, first one here, if you guys are wondering what Timothy Chalamet's next movie oh. will be, well, he's going to star as a pro ping pong player, Marty Reisman, in a biopic written by Josh Safety, coming soon Safety. from A24. Oh, my God. So this fits That's right great. in line with, with Timothy Chalamet and the roles he usually likes to do and the type of stuff he's he's uh, been known for, outside of Dune, obviously. So I'm excited for this one. As you guys know or maybe not know, Timothy Chalamet is my uh, favorite movie star, favorite uh, actor, movie star, actor right now. So that'll be pretty cool to see. And it's from A24, which is a good studio. So right now is a, right now is a cop out. Stamp I said that right shit. Now. I said yeah. right now. Oh my bad. No, he is. He's the guy. He's the dude. He's the dude for sure. All for time. Sure. Throw all, all time, time mm-hmm. behind yeah. it. Stamp Ooh. it. I'll stand by that. I'll stand by that all time. Oh my I'll stand, God. God. I'll stand by it. I'll stand by it. That's fine. Damn. He's behind me. He's behind me right here on this little cup right here. So there you go. Wow. Uh, but wow. yeah. So. Better than Leo? That's crazy. In my opinion? Yes. In your opinion? <laughs> 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 Triggered. Doubling down on Leo is crazy. Damn. Leo's here too. I think he's still here in El Paso. So this is oh, crazy. Oh, shit. This is crazy. He's been here for a minute. So they mm-hmm. got a movie going on. I forgot all but, about that. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Hopefully it's good. Mm-hmm. It should be good, right? Uh, Moving on, Kevin Feige on the MCU's X-Men roster. You'll probably see a mix of characters you've seen before and characters you've never seen before. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
We'll see who actually makes that X Men roster. It should be the OG cast, but I, I'm assuming he's making like more, like more mutants in the movie or whatever. So that would be pretty cool, or pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, mutants we've never seen before would be cool. Uh, he's for sure got to get the heavy hitters though. Storm. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Beast. And then I think we'll Beast. know more of that uh, after uh, Wednesday, after Thursday. Sorry. See who's gonna be our uh, Wolverine. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, sticking with Kevin Feige, he also reveals that the Matrix was the reason that the X-Men wore black leather in the first movies. There were studio execs in charge who knew that the Matrix has, was a big hit and they wore black leather. So put them in black leather. So there I'm you guys sorry. go if you guys were that's, ever that's wondering that. Stupid. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. What? That's uh, people, hilarious. People were like, is, why are they in these so suits? Random. That's there insane. you go. No, there you go. Because of the Matrix. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually crazy. That is cool. Some Nicholas Cage news is funny because I think we were talking about this off pod as soon as we hit the end button last week. Well, Nicholas Cage says out of his entire filmography, he'd want movie fans to watch Pig. So I have yet to see it. If Nick Cage is telling us out of everything he's ever done, this is the one he wants his fans to see or everybody to see, I'm going to check this one out. So I've heard I'll, of that. Yeah, I've heard I've of heard it. it's great. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So, so you should have said long movie. legs. Yeah, I was like, not nah, long got, legs. Fuck, I just preached. He's got some bro. movies. Yeah, he's got some movies. He, he definitely yeah. does. Man, pig. that's crazy. So, pig uh, probably, would probably just be the my message. Little, what's that's crazy. I yeah, guess, pro- I'm a probably her. Uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, Nick wants you to see it. Go check it out. All right, Nick. Uh, here we go with some Rebel Moon news. You guys thought this was over with. Uh, it is not. Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon is getting a spinoff through a podcast titled The Seneschal. I don't know if I said that right. Takes place 500 years before the events of the film, starring Ella Purnell, Naveen Andrews, Alfred Inach, Peter Serafinowicz, uh, and Jason Isaacs. So it, this is people were in the comments like, damn, this is kind of like old school back in the day radios, you know, when they used to tell stories over the radio because there was no TV and stuff like that. That's what they're likening towards it to. So spin off through a podcast. I mean, because they yeah. wasn't finna get it from TV. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wanted that shit. I was like, that one was that bad, right? I don't bad, think right? anybody <laughs> wants this either. Like, I'm trying to think, like, who, who wants would this? Want... No yeah, one. <laughs> like, they didn't want to watch it. One you didn't want to hear it. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, like, they put the fries in the bag, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That's, damn. Yeah, that I don't know. That's I don't know. I've never seen that bullshit. Maybe maybe people want some more lore behind his world and stuff. When I, why? I don't know. I don't know. It was that bad That's though. The thing is, like, why? Yeah, I, I haven't it's even seen not- part two yet. And and I don't like, think I we will. don't want this. We don't care. And I speak for everybody when I say that. <laughs> well, there you guys go. It's coming back. The boys will end with season five. If you guys didn't know already, it's currently being written. It has eight episodes. Filming starts around November and goes to mid 2025, but it is expected to release in 2026. So uh, quite a ways. Thank God I don't watch that shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's gonna be a minute. Um, yeah. Sucks. It sucks because we'll talk about that later. But that last episode was a banger. But we gotta wait two years now, two years till we can see it again. Part one, part two. Probably right. Probably. Uh, Probably sucks. Uh, and then the final piece of news that I got for you guys: Netflix says they will not offer bundled subscriptions with other streamers like Disney Plus or Max. Netflix already operates as a go-to destination for entertainment. Mm. Thanks to the variety of our slate and superior product hey. experience. Man. Hey. No, 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 and fucking statements that Netflix makes, the more I fucking want to delete my fucking Netflix account. Because what the fuck? They should be the ones wanting to collab with other people. Because their fucking shit is like $30 a month. And all they have is trash. They have ads. Like, oh, ads. Rebel Moon. Rebel Moon. Rebel, 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 Rebel Moon. Get the fuck out Get of here, Netflix. Oh, I right. fucking hate Netflix. They need money for their live actions. Can I defend Netflix now? No. Can, no. How? No. no. Let, let's see no. how he even you attempts it. Let's it's see. So, they're such a greedy fucking company. Yeah, as fuck, man. Fuck. Fuck Netflix. 
Well, I'm going to start with that point to counter that. We're calling them greedy, but they're choosing not to give y'all bundles, which is going to be more money. They're standing alone because they know that they don't it's need the bundles extra. you save together. Their, oh their prices, their <laughs> prices right now is a price of a fucking bundle. It is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I understand. Like, like, for that same price, you can go. Let them go. Let them go. From, yeah. a market, from a marketing standpoint, they're getting all the revenue off of what people are already paying for. It. Don't, nobody's backtracking on them, so they don't need to do this step in their eyes as a business. So what they're doing is fine, obviously for the public. That you know, we want them to bundle, but they don't need to. So Netflix is still up because they still have great it's shows. Not about they, what they need to do. What do you? Yeah, then what is it about? It's about the, the people. Customer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, and the people Netflix. are and the people are yes. still the people That's are still I'm subscribing <laughs> because at the end of the day, this this is literally like iPhone. People are still gonna buy it regardless. Fuck iPhone. I, I haven't mean, upgraded in years. And you yeah. still got one, right? I have. Yeah. Ex- exactly. And, and, and you still have oh. Netflix, right? Okay. Not no after the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying Netflix is always gonna be a go to regardless of how people feel. Like, if they start on some bullshit, like, they, their shit get, keeps getting bad, I'm just going to be like, it's just Netflix. worse. It's well, so I fucking, it doesn't first even of have all, Louis. I would understand if they're, <laughs> I would understand if they're, like, if they're, their, uh, their catalog was, like, fire. That's what yeah. I like. Yeah, like, it's That's not, the it's part not, I it's you, not. You struggle they have, finding something on that What do they shit? have? Stranger Things, and then the occasional, like, movies. <laughs> they got their live action one okay. piece. Let's Avatar. Do Let's do that. Yeah, there you go. I was going to go into it. They got, they got Avatar. They got One Piece. They got this whole anime thing coming out. Obviously, Rebel Moon didn't hit. But can you guys think of any other, like, just, like, they have a, they, they were supposed Netflix? to have that, uh, that Jake Paul fight and fucking... Oh yeah, that's true. They, they were, they were supposed. That, yeah. That's new, Listen, I guess. I can but, live without those things. Yeah. Like what, what, I, what's on Disney Plus right now that you guys are going to Disney Plus for and watching? Uh, I just Disney Plus today. The Bear, what? right? That's about it. The Bear is on, yeah, Hulu and Disney. That, Plus. But that, that's that's it. I wasn't going to Disney anyways, but because it's there, I'm going to Disney. That's that it. was a gr- and that was that was like I told you, J Mac. That was the greatest thing they ever fucking did. Was yeah, integrating Hulu into that for app. sure. Yeah. Absolutely. that was the single greatest but, thing. But they've ever what done. is that? That's a. That's but a mind bundle. you, you got to understand. That, yeah, you got to understand the difference between Netflix and Disney. Disney has strictly, you know, Disney. Netflix has a variety. At the end of the day, so for Disney, that was a move that they needed to make, and it clearly worked. Netflix, but- they don't need to do that. Their variety is ass. It's garbage, yeah, and, and, I, and I'm not I'm not disagreeing, but you see, people are still subscribing to it. That's never going to change. Not for long, honestly. I mean, like, that's what we thought five years ago when Netflix fell off, and they had literally nothing on there, and they five bounced years back ago, pretty their good. Prices were not this high. Yeah, but they also didn't have anything good at all. Like it was they they had but, old but ass movies, fi- and terrible and shows. It was fine because their prices were low, that's and so crazy. when you got mm-hmm. the occasional movie, you it would be fine. Their prices are twenty plus dollars now. Yeah, that's that's fucking ridiculous. That's ass. fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Yes. This is the superior product this. experience. Yeah. Like, where, where? The Netflix shows, like you guys said, like One Piece and then Avatar, like they come out with maybe like two banger shows a year and then they do all these fucking movies and maybe like one of them is good. I don't I can't tell you how many trash ass movies that Netflix has made that I watched oh, and I'd be like, what the fuck was yes. that? What the, fuck the last one that? I watched was the fucking uh, the Jessica <laughs> yeah, Alba joint. That shit was mm. garbage. The Jennifer oh, yeah. Lopez one. That shit was fucking uh, garbage. Shit. I think the last one I watched was and those are Cody. Maybe not feel the same way. Hit, Hitman, I think, was was on there. But I really enjoyed and that. Everybody one. loved Hitman. Okay, that's what we're that saying. Was that, the yeah, that's occasional movie yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, hits, but like... we're acting like this isn't every streaming service. Everybody has but misses. But Everybody their has words, hits. Their words is yeah, superior yeah, product. I was gonna say they act like they're top notch. What are we going to max for, real quick? What are we going to max for? What's on there? House of the Dragon. They have classical later movies. Dune. They have <laughs> naming they what they have Dune. does not justify but, 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 anything, and Dune doesn't count. Like I'm not, I'm just me, me personally in this conversation, I'm not trying to put max over Netflix. I just yeah. don't think Netflix is superior. Mm-hmm. No, I just think they're the most like expensive one, and they're not like up here either. Like they're 
their catalog is trash. Most of it is filled with these fucking Netflix like shows that they have one yes. season of and they're fucking horrible and then they get canceled. Like you literally go on Netflix and there's so much fucking garbage on there. And I'm just like the you other ones don't have people. that. Regardless if we're not interested in the catalog that uh max has they have quality content and it, that's why they don't have a lot of it because the what they have is quality netflix is like quantity over quality and that shit is like i'm i'm sick of it i For think sure. that is a very hot take yeah. because we're just ignoring all the great shows netflix has dropped within the last seven years probably more they have dropped continuously things that everybody loves to watch i get that other other things like max have quality too but Y'all only talk about like what two shows on those different streaming services where Netflix has a handful that everybody's coming back for. Stranger Things, Squid Games is coming back. We know they're gonna watch it regardless. We have all this the animated um live actions we just talked about. And obviously they have bad movies, but they also have good movies like Hitman that are gonna make more. Like it had everything has bad movies. Why are we acting like their catalog is 80% horrible? Like that's not true. Netflix is has No, it is because it, that 20% is <laughs> what you just named yeah no. it's just it's stranger things and what's the what squid games the the one show and, look that we're gonna be talking about this one later too because it's it's nominated for an emmy i refuse to watch this shit but it's nominated for an emmy three body problem is in there so yes and, and i personally it. no i personally don't uh, like it like that but i know people fuck with that <laughs> John. it took too fucking long to get to the point yeah that, that, that like, that's, that's, that's the problem yeah, that is the like, only God, problem damn. i have could have cut we, we also got half. little reindeer right that little reindeer is yes, on there yes, oh, oh, people were eating that, that shit good. up yes. said, recently recently Netflix this is all recent is, is on a on a streak right now recently. yes For, but we're well, gonna call I out mean, mrs like no, it's just like they it's have, they're acting like they're the best. They have the yes, best. They, that they don't have garbage the on their shit. Yeah, and like they're they're worth the money. Yeah, I, like fuck I the bundle, come to us. Money. Yeah, like, like I don't think they're worth the money. They're and they're tripping. Like yes, like we'll probably still pay for Netflix, you know. But you know what? After Stranger Things, which is literally the only show, I stopped watching I haven't Umbrella even watched Academy. That shit. Yeah, like, even, you know, Squid Games might come out. I might not watch that. No one even wanted a second season. Mm -mm, that's like, what I heard, too. There are shows on there, but it's not enough for me to justify the price and the g other garbage that is on there. And their fucking greedy-ass company being like, we're a superior product, so we're not going to bundle with anybody else. Like, bitch, yeah, that, you that are the good. price of a bundle. Yeah. It's because let's put it in perspective, right? It is. Who would Netflix bundle with? And we let's keep it realistic because we know it's not Max. So who else would they be bundling? With? Disney already has a bundle, so you know it's not Disney or Hulu. So who else is the option? But it's because they probably did that shit to themselves. They just kept putting themselves know, and said fuck everything. Yeah, let's throw from in there and get MGM. Let's throw yeah, Apple right. in there and get maybe, Apple. Maybe, See, maybe now that, Apple. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. Apple? That's fine, but look at Netflix's eyes. Like that's helping them. That's not helping us. Realistically, they're only getting what two shows from these these companies. Like that's not nothing. That's why they're nah, saying more, this Why are you playing devil's advocate for this billion dollar company? Because <laughs> we're we're like, trying to sit here and act like we... they're not top three. What okay, are we doing? They are not top three. They are Mainstream, top three. maybe, but no. Yes, they no. are down in the quality. Name hour. name three better. I like HBO Max better. I'll give you that. I like Disney and Hulu better. You're saying it's and cool. Hulu when their bundle is crazy. Okay, well I also and like Hulu Apple was TV, never better than Netflix ever. I also Apple okay, fine. I like Apple one, TV though, no? too, better than Netflix. I would. I promise you, when I want to watch something, I don't go to Netflix. <laughs> And that's fine, but name me the the, the fantastic shows that Apple TV has that, and then you know don't you know, apparently they don't have shit because it's hey, better, every right? time every time Apple we TV hear uh, uh, you're gonna dig uh, yourself in a hole, it yeah, has, it, it, it has not. lasso. <laughs> yeah, you are. That's two. Uh huh. That's two. <laughs> every <laughs> time I hear a new what to watch, more. it's I not on fucking those, Netflix. I, those are the ones that I've seen. What did so you I say so far? What did we? What did you say? She, so far? she named Ted Lasso Ted and Lasso and Severance. And Severance, and she said there's a lot that she hasn't seen. That's bullshit. We can't say that. 
J Mac has seen a show for Babylon. I'll, I'll throw the morning show, which is also getting an Emmy or not yeah. an Emmy. Okay. Talking about okay. Show. Isn't, that, isn't, that, isn't that Godzilla show on there? The Godzilla show is on there, which uh, that, that's a great one. C with Jason Momoa is fucking amazing. Um, I, that, that's what comes to mind. I'm isn't sure if Silo I look at it. Silo on there? Those Silo on Apple TV. is on there. Silo yeah. is on there. Another show I recommend. Like, now, no, 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 Apple, like, Apple's got fucking bangers, Cody. I'm gonna tell yeah, you. Now, now, let's talk they about the bad quality. shows since they that's all quantity. we do about Netflix. So let's talk about the bad shows because they have bad shows. Let me see on what Netflix got. on everything on, else because I'm saying on, no, listen, on Netflix it's anything else, we did a like, name. Obviously, they're gonna have a lot of everything, right? So just so because, like, you know, <laughs> Netflix has the the most of like they've been out longer than shows. everybody they have everything it's been so but long they of course still, but they still have those shows they don't even take those shows off why would you take why would and you take something pr- off of a streaming service and their prices are high and i'm not denying the prices thing but we're talking about it's the catalog the you're talking shit about the catalog when we know they and have the great prices that's no, again they don't have I'm, great shows i'm not wa- i'm not watching crazy. a single netflix show right now you are not uh the rest of the world is Who? that's the point what? i'm making so, so which what? one are you watching what do you mean? I just what we just Netflix named the shows. Are are, are, I, I, no, I which t- Netflix t- show are you watching? I right can tell you, I can tell you one that me and Jed are watching on there right now, right, Jed? Which one? And he might have finished it already, but we, we're watching Receiver right now. He's lost. Receiver. Oh, yeah. Like, do we have short term memory loss? Like, <laughs> but that's why. Like, I, I'm I'm in like I'm in the middle. Like I said, my stance. Yeah, I'm, is I'm in the middle. They're not. Middle. They're not superior. No, I hate Netflix. They're just actually. full of shit. I, I just, it's trash. It's just, if, <sighs> if we didn't pay for Netflix, I know you like Netflix because they have like good documentaries on there. I know you're gonna be missing out on shit. I that would is not what they excel at for me. I would not yeah. pay for Netflix. That's all I watch on Netflix. I wouldn't I watch Stranger My... Things. Was I it would... that uh Joe Exotic? Yes. Yeah, that was the Tiger King. Yeah, I, yeah oh. I would not pay for Netflix. Actually, my, I don't. Justin pays for it. Right. The thing is, the I'll pay for the bundles. In my eyes, for the was one. said that they're not going to probably merge with these lower tier, these lower tier streams. But so that's how I. I, I get it. what you're saying. Who look, would they bundle I don't, with? Look, okay, I like, get probably that. Greedy, but the, the this statement stuff. is what is pissing me off because. Why are they saying? Oh. Why do they even look, say this? We're not gonna bundle with any of y'all. Yeah, that's we're better. too good for that's them. Baby. Yeah, literally. Like, they at every chance they get, they show us how much of a greedy fucking company yeah, they are. With their prices being with up, them. with you having to pay extra for four K, with them stealing yeah, our 4K? data from fucking AT and T. They steal your fucking data from. They literally have bought in data from other companies. Like they're such a greedy ass company. That's just to them. recommend you good shows. <laughs> they were, they were yeah. also they were also the first to do that uh the password sharing thing huh it was them mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. They started that cut down and they all, yeah they but, fucking started but they that were shit. around the longer they yes have been they've been around for so long that people have that. been finessing them forever people have been finessing netflix for fucking years had to why am i they've gonna buy on top forever bullshit. yes uh, they've to, been on to top to kind of defend the superior product i think that's whatever but as of recently the only one that competes with Netflix is Apple, in my eyes. As of recently, uh, they got they got bangers going on. They got a streak going on. Apple's got another streak going on. That's the only other one. Disney Plus Max to me. We saw how really? Acolyte turned out. Uh, aside from the bear, I don't think uh, the, we just watched it. But season three just dropped, so we can't even count seasons one and two on on Hulu. That that's been on there. What if they just dropped this year, season three, which we know we kind of said, or Jets even said, stepping stone. And I agree with it. I agree with stepping stone for the season. Max, what are we going to, to Max for right now? There's nothing we're going to to go see Max House of the Dragon, which is another disappointment that I'll talk to talk about later. Prime uh, Video. Maybe Andre, yeah. Um, Prime Video. I'm not going to Prime has Video for any shows. Shows. Has just two Fall shows. Out. Boys. We just Fall out the it boys. for boys. Yeah. And, and Invincible. Do. That's oh, it. Oh, Invincible. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. it. So to me, right now, top of they the game, concerts. top of the mountain is Netflix, Apple. That, that's just, I think that's they have, where I'm They at. have NFL. Plus, we got the I'm, One Piece coming. I'm oh, not shit. NFL what, season, what season are we in right now? Because it ain't football season. So right now, you, you have... <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like I'm just saying, denying the truth is crazy. What are the numbers? Yeah, so I was gonna bring up. I was gonna bring up the numbers. Here we go. If it's top four, mm -mm. here we go. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna rattle (laughs) off. You said three. I'm gonna rattle off the top. Well, here, let's do the top ten because this is what this list is, and this just might have been an interesting top ten. But here we go. Stars. 
stars at number 10. This is as of May. So, I mean, a few months have passed since there, but this was last yeah, in May. Recent, let's stars, 15.88 million. ESPN Plus, number nine, 24.8. That's, yeah. Apple TV Plus, 25 million. That's number eight. God, number seven. A lot of people have Android. Peacock, 34 million. Wow, Six, Apple. Hulu, 50.2 million. Still have as long as that ain't top five. Getting I'm into happy. our top five, Paramount Plus, 71.2 million. Yeah, they just started making a lot of money moves. Cool. Max, 99.6 million. Of, of course. Number four. Number three, <laughs> Disney three. Plus, 153.6 million dollars. So that's a big three. that's a big difference right there. And then number two, Amazon Prime Video, 200 million. This one's surprising. Nice. Well, maybe it's not so surprising, not surprising because everybody's because got Prime. Everybody has. Yeah, yeah everybody, everybody has got has Prime. And this just comes with it. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah, what? Number one. Number one, Netflix sitting Prime? at 269.6 okay. million. Okay. Almost 100 million. Off of what the fuck are we talking about, man? How long trash. has it been out? It's still trash. And honestly, those are just the accounts that uh, people have had to make because they changed the password sharing. So you're making excuses when no, other I'm companies the also did the password like, sharing? That means they, they gain yeah. more. They gain more money from doing it. If that's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm saying they're not the only one. So It's still trash. <laughs> to you <laughs> and that's what we understand that's fine it can be trash to you that's okay no it is and they're great oh, that's just basura well yeah. there you basura. guys go <laughs> exactly little combo on the streaming services right there sorry let us know what you guys <laughs> let us know what you guys think about that I'm are not you currently sorry, subscribed actually. which one's what's your top three and who you think's at the top right now let us know all that down in the comments but that's all the news i got for you guys jet what you got Thought we were never going to get here at one point, but Stop here it. we are. Stop. <laughs> I'm passionate, all right? I uh, shout out to Long Legs. I can't look at that. Uh, look, look, <laughs> look at the back of a girl's head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that demonic ass movie, please. It oh, opened so with 22.6 million domestically. That is the biggest opening ever for Neon. I'm part it's of also the biggest opening for an independent horror film in a decade. Has there even been any independent horror films in this decade? That's yes, actually, yes, yes. That's right, actually God been talked it. about. Yes. God damn it. Just because wow. you didn't like it doesn't mean nobody else did, okay? <laughs> I, did, I didn't say that. I just want to know the movies. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Just I want to know what the competition listen, is. Listen, <laughs> listen, this marketing for this movie... I, I'm, spook I'm spooked. Yeah, I got scared. I haven't seen it because I'm like so Off afraid that I'm gonna die. I don't, it, I don't even think and it was I'm, great marketing. It was just people saying it's scary. No, yeah. the, the movie marketing ever. was good. You didn't see the marketing from the start. How are you gonna you say didn't what see I saw? Because you didn't see the marketing from the start. How are you gonna tell me what so I saw? You didn't what? see my favorite people tweeting about it. <laughs> I just want to know the other mm. movies that fit that criteria, so I can know. Here know, we go. What's ready? Going on. I got it. Yeah, I'm ready. This guy says roughly just whatever comes to his mind. Hereditary, forty-seven meters Ooh, down. Yep. The boy, mm -hmm. talk to me. Countdown, the witch, oh. Maxine, Midsommar, It comes at night. Immaculate. I've heard like about six of those. A couple of those, yeah. Inside Out Two has become the third highest-grossing animated movie of all time, passing Frozen. Is that? Is, that, yeah. is it still crazy? Because I think it's still crazy. I yeah. feel like it's never been crazy. I've never wow. seen Frozen. Frozen might have been like one of the biggest things I've ever that, that being yeah. around during the Frozen era, uh -huh. that was crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'm saying, so like Inside Out 2 passing that is just that's insane. You were asked if you want to build a snowman every fucking five hey, seconds. What? Frozen was fucking huge. That's what Frozen I'm saying. Was, I, that shit was I feel like I don't even they, like I don't feel like there's enough going on for the Inside Out 2, like outside of the movie. Like, you know what I mean? Like for Frozen, there was shit going on. Like Yeah. Inside Out oh, 2 just yeah. feels like it was the movie and it people was watched it. The movie. it. Yeah, it was a Nobody movie talks movie. about it, like nothing. Anthony Starr and Chase Crawford say black noir actor Nathan Mitchell is narcoleptic in real life. He legit falls asleep during scenes. Ooh. It was then written into the show. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Wow. That's narcoleptic. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Quaid says he auditioned to play Superman in James Gunn's DCU. He's quoted as saying, I didn't get very far. I put myself on tape and it went nowhere. And that's okay. So, um, <laughs> he had to do yeah, that I'm... just for shits and giggles, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
He yeah, I don't think he had a shot. Not, e- not, not even. Nigga, not a chance in hell. Yeah, he went for the wrong role. He should have gone for Jimmy Olsen, and that would have been great, I think, for him. Who, who is yeah. this? Mm. Yeah. Sean Levy turned down directing Avengers 5, apparently, so he could focus on his upcoming Star Wars film. Um, if you guys don't know, and I did a horrible job at cropping this, that's insane. But <laughs> <laughs> he oh, yeah, tweet above. I want. Uh, I don't know. Eight point nine million though. It was banging. <laughs> you gave us the numbers for the top one. And <laughs> <Yeah. not> this. <laughs> he is the director of uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, I haven't seen the movie wow. yet, so I don't know if I like this or not. From Deadpool to Star Wars. Apparently. Could he do it? Is he gonna make the next uh, hit Star Wars uh, comedy? Fucking whatever the fuck. All uh, right. Deadpool is. He it's did like Free a... Guy, Real Steel, Night at the Museum, Ooh. and the Adam Project. So Ooh, that he did all. Of he did all the Night at the Museums, all of them. Mm. So. Wow. Those are cool, the, but I only the saw internship, one. Big Fat Liar. Internship, Big okay. Fat Liar. So it's not bad. Like a com- yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he's got. A, he's got a good. He's a. Like, yeah. The Halo live action series has been canceled at Paramount Plus. Yeah, yeah that's kind of crazy. Um, people like, well, shit, I don't even know. I, I know one person that liked, liked it this season better than the first one. But like I said, I mentioned it last time I talked about it. People didn't like him taking off his helmet. He loses his whole suit for half the season. So, I mean, <laughs> people mm. probably didn't like that shit even more. Um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. That kind of sucks. I did see, though, uh, they were looking at shopping it to other streaming services. So. Don't mm. if you're fans of this, don't get your hopes up just or you know, don't lose hope just yet. You guys still have a chance. So people were mad because he took off his helmet. Yeah, He's not supposed to. I I I look, I'm, I'm going on record. I'm gonna get heat with it for this if this blows up. I don't agree with it. Like it makes sense for the video games because in the video games, he never takes off his helmet. That that's just who Master Chief is. When it comes to the video games, they wanted you, in my opinion, I don't know, in my opinion, they wanted you to feel like you were Master Chief. Like you're the player of Master Chief, you can do what, what he's doing, and people resonated with that because it's pretty cool. That shit worked, but, and it worked. It <laughs> absolutely worked, and, and and it makes sense. You want you want your players to feel like like the main character, and it worked absolutely. But when translating that to TV, I could see them why they want to take off the helmet and show Casey Eck. Uh, so that's just what what I see. I understand the Mandalorian. Like they're not supposed to take off their helmets either, but I don't yeah. know if you know because of the way that they approached it and the way that it was executed, if that was why you know fans kind of were like more in tune with that as opposed to this. You're the only one that can answer that because you're the only one that's seen it. Like I don't know if it was done in a way that was just like well, what the fuck. But I mean, in this one, I mean, he was just he's a soldier, takes off his helmet when he's not in battle, just like a soldier does, right? That's mm. that's pretty much what he was doing. In Mandalorian, and I, I kind of like the way they explained it, and we kind of they gave us the information. Mando's clan per se is quote unquote cultist, uh, mm. and that's not the rest of Mandalore. Like the rest of the Mandalorians, like they take off their helmet, and they you know they do all that shit. But they were a specific subgroup of Mandalorians that don't believe in taking off their helmet, and I, I like that explanation. That was pretty. This guy, he was just a soldier, just taking off his helmet when he's at home chilling. Mm-hmm. I was, trying so, to eat. I was trying to eat lunch, yeah. man. Right? So, I can't with this face mask. What the fuck? Yeah, people are tripping then. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles X Naruto comic like, will release what? in October. Like, this is pretty cool. fucking no. insane. It's like, am I looking at that's that cool. correctly? I was like, what's cool. going <laughs> Turtles Naruto. No, and it's cool. young Naruto, too. So, yeah. Unless oh. this is just fan art. But why? Uh, I no, think, I, yeah, I, I think they, they said it wasn't like final. Uh, art or whatever. Oh but, shit! Yeah, yeah, if I saw this one, did you read last one in or start at least? Not yet. Uh, I'm ashamed to say that I bought the, the hard covers, <laughs> ready to go. Yeah, bro, I brought I bought the hard covers. I went to Barnes and Noble. I said, let me get these and read last Ronin yet. I have yet to. Do that, so. <laughs> well, this should be sick. Same. Um, I definitely uh, might have to buy it. I'm I'm intrigued. That's fucking dope. And I know you guys said this isn't official. But their designs right there even look dope. To yeah, me, they so. should look dope. Yeah, yeah, they do. But how does that even come up? And they even got the little. How does that happen? Over. You're gonna find. Yeah, out. the headbands. That's why they're yeah, like integrating their shit. It's that shit is be hard like to a me. Portal or something. Yeah, you yeah. Just put it to the wrong world. Some shit. That's weird. It, I never so saw it's them it, going yeah. to them. 
Or they it looks like they're or... they're going to him. That's what that looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, they yeah. went to him for sure. Yeah. 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 I've yeah, never saw it either, but the Turtles did a crossover with Batman too, and I don't know how. Oh yeah. shit! Uh-huh. What the fuck? So yeah, there's a few, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, that was an animated movie. Yeah, the Turtles. Are, yeah, they do collabs and shit. They so cool. Fucking random. They're cool. <laughs> They're just gonna come out from the fucking sewers. Like it's just gonna be yeah, just, yeah. Right? Just, yeah, yeah. Get into the oh, league village, <laughs> right? Uh, so Dragon Ball Daima will be dropping in October this year. Nice. As we know, this is the last thing that Akira Toriyama worked on before he passed. Mm. Um, so this means a little bit more. Shit kind of hurts. <laughs> but uh, yeah, October, Dragon Ball Daima. Was that a video? See how that goes. It says right uh, there, right? Yes. Yeah, it, did, it dropped with a, with another trailer. Did you watch it? It dropped with another trailer. No, I didn't. It looks like okay. uh, the last movie's CGI, and that pisses me off. Mm. Am I tripping? Oh, uh, Gohan? And yes. Piccolo? Am I tripping as to what this looks like from this picture? Oh, you're we judging had, off the picture. I can't we had a, we've had a trailer, though. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm, I'm confused, because this picture looks like that. It doesn't look like the trailer. Some One Piece Season 2 news um, that might uh, hurt some people's hearts. Jamie Lee Curtis my. will not be starring in One Piece Season 2 due to scheduling conflicts. Fuck. But someone else has been cast in the role. She was so perfect, and she, she wanted the... to do it. She uh, wanted to do she it. She did want to do it. She did also want like, to do it. That was part of the article. It's fucking yeah. her. All I'm hearing is they're not even working on Season 2 yet. No, they're they're they're. they're <laughs> How did they're you going. gather? How did you gather that? Oh, huh, it must be good. <laughs> they're still trying. To Someone else has been cast in the role, brother. <laughs> well, what the oh, fuck? <laughs> no, they they, yeah, this, is, <laughs> this is a god shame. damn. Scheduling let me conflicts, know, man. Let me know when it's all out and I watch it all out. We missed out on an, an award winning performance. That I was, uh, yeah, cool. even sh- what, what she did in the bear, and I was like, damn, yeah, bring that shit over here. That that would have been oh fun. Yeah, hell yeah. That would have been awesome. Yeah, it's such a shame. It's such a shame their conflicts. People in the comments, though, were saying, like, damn, this is like two years out. You guys couldn't figure something out. Like, it's yeah. kind of crazy. <laughs> but she busy, man. She been she been getting that. Is she that... got the Oscar, what, like last year, two years ago? And she she's killing it in the bear. She killed it in, in Knives Out, right? That was that was even before yeah. then, but. She, she's she's been anything doing everywhere all at once. She's everything a great everywhere. Actress. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's, she's been awesome. killing it recently. Rising star. So she, Stupid ass. <laughs> yeah. Come back. A-lister. Come back. Technically, yeah. yeah she's so. a backup. Oh, Technically, yeah. <laughs> Not like dope, though, coming back sure. up. It's dope that, 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 that she still gets casted. It's always like that. been her, yeah. right? Yeah. She gonna be in Freaky Friday too. She is Freaky Friday too. She is. Um that's yeah. that does suck though, because like Cody said, she that was that was her man. That yeah. I mean, you, yeah, you talk about her. fan castings, like there's been you know those fan castings for Fantastic Four, and we feel mm-hmm. like John Krasinski, Emily Blunt, like you know, like we got it. This is one of those where it's like, you know, we we did the we did the work for y'all. <laughs> yeah, a movie that I am very excited to see. Stay tuned for the what to fucking watch, but Twisters. Earns thirty two point two million dollars on the film's domestic wow. opening day, same opening day number as Dune two, and only eight hundred k below Oppenheimer. I might oh. need to watch this. Glenn Powell, yeah, that's the Dune. Everyone loves him. Yeah, he, star. Everybody loves him. He is awesome. Who is he? The next Ryan Reynolds. Powell. Where else is he from? <laughs> Hitman. Um, uh, you didn't watch, you didn't watch Maverick you? either, right? You didn't watch that one. You didn't watch Hitman. You didn't watch... Uh, Hitman's the one on Netflix? Yeah. yeah. Devotion. Yeah. Uh-uh. You didn't watch Devotion with he said, Jonathan uh-uh. Majors. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you've seen anything with this man in it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, he's a great actor. It's because I've heard his name, but... I, he's I, a he's... great actor. He uh, is so charismatic. When I went to the movies? Like, so charismatic. They give me the twister bucket. Can I take that and get that refilled? No. <laughs> no? He needs what to the be casting. What's the point of a big ass bucket then? I feel like next Ryan Reynolds was kind of disrespectful. As fuck. <laughs> I thought no, we somebody just, was react to that. Nah, for we real. just swept that under the rug. Like, you know what I think? I have been thinking about that since she said it. I <laughs> since two minutes. I think ago. I think he's a better actor than Ryan Reynolds. 
Can't. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. No, no. What? Uh, no wonder uh, you were defending Netflix. But, okay, Delucia but how are how are bitch. how are you saying no and you haven't seen him act? Yeah, what? Doesn't matter though. It's Ryan oh, Reynolds. You, you did <laughs> say Ryan Reynolds. I heard Ryan Gosling. No, 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 Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds. No, Reynolds. Not Ryan Reynolds. And you know what? I I agree though. with you on the on the charisma because him and D- Ryan Reynolds are like <laughs> the same with like the way they talk and their mannerisms. <laughs> But he okay. just exceeds him when it comes to acting. Acting? <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know. I don't. I feel like I'm watching Ryan Reynolds in every performance. I got to watch this movie. That's, Wait, are you saying that, that Ryan is, Reynolds plays is, himself? That yeah, yeah, he has no I range. Agree. That... So, yes, I agree. Are you saying oh, that did, Ryan Did you guys Reynolds... watch If yet? No, no, no. It's on. It's on. It's on Paramount Plus. So if you guys haven't oh, seen it, check it out. Man, I, 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 br- I no. I bring that up I because, haven't. and you're not wrong. He does. He, Ryan Reynolds is Ryan Reynolds in every role, except yeah. for this one. But I that's think. what, oh, that's what they that fucking okay. sign him up for. So. Ah. Yeah, they sign him up because they know they're gonna get Ryan Reynolds. And but if you wanted to, you could but do something you, else. But if you think about it, Ryan Green Reynolds Lantern is like, Whoa. like, come on. Hey, that was a no. great casting. No, we're not doing just that a bullshit. horrible script. <laughs> we weren't gonna do that bullshit. We weren't sweeping shit under the rug. No. I just what don't do you understand mean? how you're talking and you haven't seen Glyph Palace. It's Ryan act. Reynolds. What does that mean? It's just Ryan <laughs> fucking Reynolds, man. <laughs> what else do I need to say? Go check the track record. <laughs> it's track it's record Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds in every movie. <laughs> right. it's nah, like Green just Landing comedies. Was it's Ryan Reynolds as Ryan Reynolds in every movie. Yeah, it's, yeah, just <laughs> comedy. The fact that you understand that is fucking. Cool. <laughs> I just say because that's what you guys say. I thought this was in production already, but I guess not. Uh, <laughs> the Jitsu Kaisen pulling game arc is currently in production. So you were right; it is in production. Well, what is that? The time, I thought before the time that I saw this notification, it could have been in production this whole time. So you're right. It's a mobile game. No, this is the next arc of the show. This is season three. But that's the games you guys are playing on the PlayStation? This is what are you talking about? John. What <laughs> game is this? Culling Game is the name of the arc. Oh, I'm thinking a game. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? You guys didn't even like the first game you guys fucking played. I was like, there's God damn, there's game. a second game already? They're playing a game in the In the, the, the game. Manga. In the manga. Oh. No, not in the game. Not get the- <laughs> <laughs> in the manga chapters yeah, right now, they're yeah, playing yeah. the game. That's what. And that's the name like, of the game. I was like, you guys didn't even like the first game. He got up. his volumes. Go, go go, read them. Go finish yeah. them. Right. Well, I'm like you. I have not <laughs> touched fuck- them. <laughs> <laughs> man, when did you say this was coming out? Uh, 2026, I think it was. God what they damn! Said, what they oh, yeah. they can they can still make that deadline apparently if that's if that's the if that's the deadline. Yeah. No, yeah, they they, <laughs> they can so. make it. That's I think I have deadline. time to read my books. <laughs> oh, you got oh, you got more, more you got more than time. that time. Fuck, that is. I think it'll okay. write your own manga. <laughs> right? The manga will be oh, over by the time the the season comes out. So <laughs> that's ridiculous. Wait, is that is it going to be done this year? I think so. The second part of my Inside Out two news it. Crossed one point four, four three yes. billion. <laughs> I, I, I was just making That's sure there wasn't. Why is there three four hundred forty-three thousand? Yeah, yeah. Billion. Why? Why couldn't no. they just say one point four? Like one point. That's, yeah, That's why I, I don't why know why I, I needed. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't know why I needed that extra four three. They were but being extra, yeah. At the worldwide box office, the film is ten million away. <laughs> From becoming the <laughs> highest grossing animated film of all time. It's got it. It's done. Yeah, it's, it's where are they still yeah. getting these they millions? We're, we're, in the same, we're in the same we're in the same half the year. These? Like it hasn't even been six months. Uh, it hasn't, even been, it it hasn't it, even been two months. It hasn't yeah, even been two I was gonna say yet, so. it's been two months. That's probably. that's absurd, bro. I'm telling this no, something yeah. something happened, bro. Something's this is sketchy fake. Because where are they getting these millions from? Like no, how many people I, are rewatching the same? Honestly, I don't find this that surprising. I kind I of really do. Don't. I agree with Cody. It just has just, frozen. It just doesn't, right? I'm frozen. Because, again, they're talking about the speed at which it's happening. Yeah, it's happening like, two but, months. This is normally like no, over but, the course of its lifetime. Like, but think, this yeah, is all happening. time, though. This yeah, think about really... that, Andrea. All time. It's up there all time in two months. One thing that stands out to me is that this is the second movie 
So it's like right. coming off the Not first one, the this first. is you assume is the hype that made this grow. But I, I don't even feel like the first movie had that type of hype at no, all. Like, the first one it was the OG. The first yeah, one so weird. Laid the groundwork. People loved it, and they're like, "Oh yeah. shit, let's go see what the they sequel." They love that. Part. They see, did. that's I, what I'm saying. That's why I'm justifying it but in my lo- brain. They yeah. Yeah. loved like, it. This was so highly anticipated. It wasn't like. Like they didn't love it to the extent they love these other movies. Like, where did this come from? Yeah. Nah, you're like, crazy. Is there I, a dozen I, too? Like to the point where it's oh. it's about to break the record? Billion dollars. Wait, is there is there or a some emotions? Two? Yes. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, that's up there too. That's in, there that's is like, yeah, that was, but yes. that's like number five, I think. But that's why. And that's what I'm saying. Like, like that it is even. helping Cody's. Yeah. Like what? But I, I, like I, I feel like the fake. hype was there because like anytime I've seen anybody like. You know, rank Pixar or anything like that. Inside Out Two is in that top. I mean, Inside Out One is in that top ten. I just and that's among like the Toy Stories, the fucking monster, like it, like yeah. Inside Out, the fucking new gen joint is with them shits. We just haven't seen it to understand. It's a really yeah. It's a really really like unique and like creative. Like the the concept is. is so unique. The Dragon Ball IP is currently stuck in a battle for its rights after Akira Toriyama's unfortunate passing. That's it. Um wow. I did I did read all those little words. Um to basically sum it up, there was this guy that was working for Shueisha, which um is the company that, you know, Dragon Ball's under. Um and he kind of like worked his way to being the spokesman for Akira Toriyama. Um, and he got moved into a department that he wasn't fond of. Um, and he basically, being Akira spokesman, he had enough, I guess, he worked his way into getting enough power to like be able to fight for this. Because uh, he created his own company or I guess subdivision. I don't it's kind of confusing. But that the capsule corporation, um, that's his company. And so like he's wow. in a legal battle. Or I don't I don't even know if it's a legal battle. They might just be doing it internally and they're kinda hoping that um the uh Toriyama family sides with one of the sides. Um but yeah, it's the capsule corporation against uh Ushu. I guess Shueisha, yeah. So well, I hope he they wins. Are, they are in an IP fight for Dragon Ball. All that is Dragon Ball, the games, the show, everything. So it's crazy. Sad. Look, we know we know Dragon Ball is with Shueisha. We don't know what Capsule Corp's going to do. So, would you rather them stay with what we know, or go with Capsule Corp and see if they change stuff either for the better or for the worse? I say Capsule because of the how far he's gone, and I guess the trust that. Akira put in him. The end of the article says the question remains who will ultimately take the lead in managing this massive IP, the future of the Bognown battle, which is not befitting a shonen manga, remains unclear. So, and I don't know if this is affecting Super in any way. Super coming back, I don't know if maybe like this is what the holdup's been. Um, but yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, hopefully that works itself out in the best way but yeah that sucks my last pieces of news are gonna lead into what is gonna be a marvel led podcast episode um big news big news hit the fucking pop culture world this week the russo brothers are in talks to direct the next two avengers films um they directed the four films in the mcu already and according to culture crave and everyone here at lfg they haven't missed yet (laughs) so the best choice could have been made. The yeah, only choice know. that could have been made. It's honestly interesting because um, I think that that Secret Wars project or the Secret Wars movie, Avengers 5, is what drew them to at least talk. Because I, I think I remember a, an interview where they were like, the only thing that we would ever come back for is to do Secret Wars. Mm. Hopefully they get it done because what uh, all the controversy and and just, you know, mystery that has been involved with these two Avengers movies, there is no better direction to go in than the Russo Brothers. 
hopefully they get everybody in line and be like, hey, this is our fucking end goal. This is our end destination. Yep. Start connecting your shit here. Let's start and let's go through it. Let's do Put it. Put that foot down. It all starts on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Feige went on. I think, I think he did a podcast. It might have been an interview, though, for Deadpool Wolverine. Uh, but he was asked on a X-Men and Avenger, uh, X-Men versus Avengers movie. And he was quoted as saying, what's fun is it's all possible now. I don't know uh, who's left in the Avengers to make that even uh, <laughs> fair. Um, but yeah, you can see they do this. Yeah, I think they do this in the MCU. Now. I think they do like a show or an animated series where it's just like it doesn't have to do with you know. With That'd be easier for them to do, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't know. This, you, this next, uh, he named this next phase already. Did you see that? No. It's called the Mutant Saga. Oh shit! It's a dope okay. ass name. I didn't have that in here, but who? Yeah, uh, I guess they're done with the multiversal saga. Uh, Kevin Feige also uh, said that he argues that superhero fatigue is more the feeling of having to do homework fatigue. Mm. No, he said these are all individual stories meant to be enjoyed as singular entities. The connectivity mm. is a bonus and something that a lot of people like. Nah, he 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 had me at first. But then he missed me with that that second line because he might have a point with the homework because, you know, people don't like to, like, go back and have to figure out what's going on. But that second line where he said they're meant uh, to be enjoyed singular, that's cap. That's cap because they are meant to be together. They're written that way, but it's just they're not good because they need to be together and they're not they're not attaching them. That's why they're not good. I think they need to focus on making the movie good. Yeah, let's let's, let's get this let's get this do. let's get this plot let's see where we're going okay this is what we want to do all right let's do it now let's see how we can start connecting pieces with future projects because yeah. we can easily say the marvels as a standalone <laughs> what are we doing but if it had have... the connection it, it's going up but it ain't got that it's just all over the place i have a uh, superhero fatigue right now i was telling justin like i'm just really tired of superheroes I'm not like I'm not really looking forward to Wolverine and Deadpool. All right, I'm sorry, but I like I'm not like I don't know. I I feel it, and I love I used to love watching all the Marvel movies, but for me, it's the fact that they're just suck. And honestly, I feel like a, the big big giant Marvel fans like to go back and make all the connections because i have seen a lot of the connection videos and those are just you know people already breaking it down but i just feel like he needs to you know like get his movies good no yeah for sure because personally i don't think you should you need to be going back to watch those old movies like if you watch the movie it's not like it's something hidden everything is pretty straightforward am i tripping like as far as connect, like like stories connecting, everything is straightforward. So having to go back is sad. Like him making that point, it's like no man. There's a lot of Easter eggs. I feel like people go back for the Easter. For sure, like comic book Easter eggs for sure. But like as far as their story goes, there's like no homework plot. you need to do. They just yeah. they're just not making good connections, and the the plots aren't mm-hmm. there. Like they're just bad. And then my last piece of news heading into. The topics. Kevin Feige says he would rate Deadpool and Wolverine an eight on how it impacts the MCU. That's so funny. In comparison, he said Infinity War was a nine and Endgame was a ten. I thought this that's was supposed good. to Damn. save. Shit. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. good. No, he, he, that's, that's, is it? Is it? That, that's what okay, read. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, read yeah, read what it's not, He's not rating the movie. Yeah, he's, he's not rating the movie. The, not the movie, how, but how it impacts the MCU. The implications. Is yes. this yes. supposed to be saving? Yeah. Yeah. So no. he's yeah. basically saying, like, <laughs> this is going to connect pretty well. Yeah. Like, yes. It, okay. It's going to impact like, it, and that's a fucking been, high ass number on how yeah, it's going to impact. It's basically hitting the plot directly. We're going to get motion in our plot. It's not going to be no more scrambling around. We're actually getting our continuation and our connections. That's what's happening with this, is what he's saying. Because for sure, Infinity War 9 and Endgame 10, it, I, I agree with that. So this being an 8, I'm excited for sure again, or more. 
Yes. At the very least, we know it's going to impact the MCU. Yes. At the very least. So that's what we're hoping for. We need. Or that. Kevin Feige is a liar. I thought they said it was already and we're done. to impact it. Like, I don't know. Wait, say it again, John? That wasn't it already supposed to impact it? Like, we no, yeah. But, it to do yeah. That? but we he's confirming. We were hoping. Yeah, 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 we were hoping. hoping. This is what everybody okay. wanted. But he's confirming mm, it does. Okay. Oh, and that's I guess, why it's I guess good. that's where I'm wrong. Yeah. I guess, and it's at yeah. an eight. Think about that. Mm-hmm. So eight. Okay. What Kevin Feige just did to Cody right now. Is nuts because Cody already hyped shit up, right? Cody, right? You ready? You like? You know, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll let you know. Like that. So, so Kevin Feige just just put some fucking hype into Cody yeah, even more, yeah. I think. and to myself as well. Like, if Kevin Feige saying this shit, then the man is saying it. Now, if this yeah. isn't that, yeah. can't trust him no more. <laughs> no, yeah, that's crazy. We'll that see. is we'll that was a big thing to say because this is gonna make a break if people are even gonna fuck with sure. anything after He's this. adding yeah. to that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Damn. But just remember what I said last. It's been a minute. They still got projects that were announced before this shit. So get through all that crap first, and then we got it. We gotta wait. So don't like I said. Can I watch uh, all the Deadpool's? <laughs> I only saw the first one. I haven't seen Honestly, the second one yet. Any of them. But, nah. Probably the first not, one was right? all right. But maybe all the Wolverines. It, it shows you how he no. becomes a... Ma- uh, how many Wolverines? Oh, all he had to watch was, the, was Logan. That's it. Yeah, it was Logan, right? That's what you guys told me. Yeah. You guys got three Logan. days to watch Logan. And could, maybe the I'll Deadpool 1 and 2 because there's there's characters in the trailer. The one. For, yeah. There's characters in the trailer of Deadpool and Wolverine that, you know, Deadpool has his family and friends and shit around him or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. And if you want to watch good movies, you know I can recommend. You know, like, you're gonna you're gonna name me something off Netflix? No, <laughs> you know those movies aren't on Netflix. That's why well, I can't do there that. you guys go. LFG news, long news. So if you heard something you didn't already know about, go ahead and hit that like button. If you heard it here first, hit the like button now. All right, so moving on to our next topic here, we got a let's fucking rank. It's, I feel like it's been a minute since we've done a let's fucking rank, but we're going to be doing the Fox Marvel movies. We got Deadpool and Wolverine coming out on Thursday, so let's go and see what Fox had before they uh, ended up getting bought out by Disney. Alright, here we go. Let's fucking rank. You see the movies on screen. They are in order, so let's go ahead and knock them out. The one that started it all, X-Men, Hugh Jackman's first appearance as Wolverine. What did we think of this movie? Where do we where do we rank this one? I think this one was solid. I was about was to like, say it was solid. It was solid. This is a great start to this universe that was ending up shit. I'm I'm struggling between the B and the A. I don't think I want to go too high on the A. I don't. I think was thinking B. I think B. I was I was thinking for what else they have, this could be a solid A. I'm not mad at an A if that's where it ends up. Like I I, I think A is a that. great spot for this movie. Okay, anybody agree? Put it I don't disagree. Mm-hmm. The fall off will be very noticeable, so I think A is a great spot between the Fox movies. Let's let's throw it in A for now, and then yeah. you know how LFG does. We'll rearrange at the end. X two mm. to me, I don't know if, if it gets I enough think, love outside. I think this is S, bro. This is an S. Absolutely, this is an S. It, it starts off with an amazing Nightcrawler presidential. That was, that, that was yeah. that movie. Uh, I was like, y'all gonna have to help me fucking right here. Amazing, mm-hmm. fucking that amazing. Like, so, yeah. Okay, I, yeah, that's an yeah. S. That's an S for me. That shit was was phenomenal. phenomenal. He's my favorite. He's my favorite character too. I call it. Yeah, yeah, that was, mm-hmm. that's cool. Uh, moving on to Fantastic Four. That's the first, first, first Fantastic one, right? Four. Yeah. Yes. I don't Chris know. Evans. Hey. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey. I'm not. I like this one. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Me too. This is yeah, a great I don't really awesome. remember it like that. I think I would put it in no, A with X. Mind you, I, I knew I nothing. I, did, I knew yeah. nothing about these characters, so watching this movie was dope as shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, hell yeah. That's. A. I think I'm an A. I think I'm an A for this. A. Yeah, this is uh, this is the only one I've seen that's good. Love it. Jessica Alba. <laughs> Jessica, yes, yes, yes. Let's get it real then we can move on to Last Stand. Uh, this is to me where it kind of takes a dip. Man, that is right. It's such a shame because this was the trilogy, the final movie to end the, the X-Men trilogy, uh, and it did, didn't land all the way. Like, it was okay. Like, definitely. That's, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's garbage. Yeah, I don't think it's garbage at all. No, no, no. Ugh, it's not it could have been done way better, though. It could have been done way better. 
Uh, is, it, is it B? Or I don't think it's B. It I think like B is too high. I think it's C. I think it's a C. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Well, I agree. Wow. I think it's a C. Yeah, this wow. one. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the other one. Fuck you. Silver Surfer. This is another one. I don't remember. I one. like <sighs> two, and I it could have been yeah. done, but better. it wasn't. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. Like, I didn't know about none of this, so seeing it to me was fine. I know people's mm-hmm. issues with it, so that's them, but I thought it was dope as shit. Not not yeah. better than the first one, for sure. I was going to say B. No, it's yeah, not better than the first one. B. I think I'm at a B. I think this is better than Last Stand, I think. Not yeah. by much, okay? Not yeah. by much, but I think on the rankings, I think it's a B. Yeah, I agree. This These are the only two I've seen, right? The Fantastic Four ones. She's got some homework to do before Deadpool and Wolverine. Mm-hmm. She's going to enjoy one of the ones on this list a lot. I Moving bet. on to <laughs> X-Men Origins. Uh, Wolverine. And this is the Deadpool one. Uh, first this time is we Ryan. See this is the first time we see Deadpool. Ryan that Reynolds. shit's garbage. It is. That part is garbage. That part. Oh is yeah. yeah. There's cool shit in this movie though. Yeah. So there Wolverine's is. the only uh, one that got like a like a standalone movie. Yeah. He's, got a few. <laughs> He's the only one people cared about it. For being honest. Oh, yeah. The, the oh. X-Men. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Uh, I, I, don't, I, did, I don't know what about this. I don't even know who the X-Men are, honestly. Like, I just know Wolverine and uh, they're, they're Storm. Enough, That's it. And Beast. I think when people think of this movie, Beast all they Cyclops. think of is, is Deadpool. And yeah, yeah that, goes that's, that's, all, that. that's all they think about. Because that's all I thought about. That's all they about. think about, and that goes straight to F for them. Bro, I, I enjoyed uh, Leave Schreiber, I think. Is, yeah, Leave Schreiber's Sabretooth. I enjoyed his He's a Sabretooth. Good Sabretooth. Sabretooth. Uh, he did awesome. We get we get Gambit in here, played by Taylor Kitchen. Uh, Friday Night Lights, R- uh, Riggs, I think, right? Riggs is, is his name. That so, yeah. oh, I, yeah. so he's I Gambit in this. I, I enjoyed that. That was as crazy. Well. Um, <laughs> Shit. Damn. I think, I'm not mad at a D if it goes to a D, but I think I would go C. Off of cool stuff that was in there. We still get Hugh Jackman. Let's not forget that. We still get yeah, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman is always gonna excel, but I think you can't you can't up a grade because of that. We Yeah. The movie itself is what we're discussing. The main character. It's I don't think as... it's shit. I don't think it's shit until the ending, to be honest. Like I don't think I don't think it excels throughout yeah, yeah. that point. But I like put it in C. Yeah, I yeah. Man. That was a crazy choice. <laughs> uh, moving uh, on to X Men. First class, yeah. First this class is... was a. Uh, Come on, man. This like, is, this is the reboot. younger ones, right? Yeah. Oh, this, yeah, was, this uh, is the reboot. Uh, they go back one, in time. Wasn't that one bad? Fuck, that was no. young this movie when was I fucking it. crazy. I don't remember. Hell yeah. The quarter I scene? Know was Yo, put Lenny that shit in ass. daughter? I don't remember, it, I, don't I, remember it. It. I, I know it's mm-hmm. great. I absolutely know it's great. And this was a fantastic reboot. Too. And the only one to stay was who? Hugh Jackman. So that tells us something. <laughs> well, um, yeah, that is crazy. The, yeah. the recast was immaculate. Yeah, the so recasting. They, they, they had great castings in the original trilogy yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for sure. For sure. For sure. Bo- both of these trilogies was amazing. So, like, in my opinion, like, seeing a recast and it actually hit, like, oh, my God. I think I'm. I think I'm fine with this. <laughs> I think oh, I'm fine with this. This movie was amazing. Damn, it's top three I know for I sure. Saw it, but I don't remember that shit like that. Then. <laughs> the Wolverine. Did you did you watch this jit today? Yes, I, fi- I finished it. Yes. Let's you get your thoughts. Watch it without me. Were you gonna watch well, it? If you, you at work? <laughs> right. I can't watch nothing. I'm just supposed to sit here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Stare at the wall. <laughs> Can't watch anything without play your me. NCAA. Exactly. Uh, what'd you do? Play your NCAA all day? Uh, uh, what a loser! <laughs> wow. yeah. Yeah. You're still playing that game? All <laughs> right. Did you ever so, get off? Sebastian walks in. Game. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no. But yeah, let, let's get your thoughts. What you think about it? This is the first wow. time he watched it. He just watched it today. Oh, I don't sure. want to hear it. Which one is that? Yeah. One? I mean, I don't. <sighs> I I liked it. Um, wow. like I told you, especially from that first scene, that fucking, that, uh, I don't know, I guess it was a bomb or the atom bomb or no, they, cause they dropped it on Nagasaki, I think. Yeah. 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 Um, that was the atomic that bomb. That shit man. was crazy. Oppenheimer. Crazy. It was crazy. Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. She's all butthurt. See, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really know where to put it to be honest, but I did like it. 
I I did like it. I me and Jan were saying this earlier with with Jet. It's a great movie, and to me, where it falls off is at the end. Unfortunately, kind of like Origins, like, but Origins didn't have. I think this is a better story than Origins to me. I like the whole aspect of him going to Japan and stuff and seeing, like you said, the beginning of the movie was good. Just Silver Samurai and the way they they did Silver Samurai in there. Oh just, yeah, that was horrendous. That. that was bad. Yeah. That was bad. Like that's an actual like Marvel character that we've even seen in X Men ninety seven. He was just there. And you see him on, on top of a mountain or some shit like that. So that was bad, and and I, that that sucked. Um, I think it's better than Origins, so I think I'd go B though, and, and I might get some hate for that off of the general public. But where do, where do you think you have? It? I was gonna say I liked it, but it might be a C, bro. See, I I ain't <laughs> mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Cause I was I, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, that was bad. Um, but just like you said, and like I said earlier, I liked what I was seeing, and then it got to that point. I was like, fuck. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you want to do. I'm Let's do it. Throw it in C. Uh, I'm with you. That's fine. Throw it in C. Is that the is that the top? Uh, is that better than Last Stand? It's better than Origins for me. Is it better than Last Stand? I think so. That train scene was cool. I, yeah, I, I'll go. I go in front of it. Yeah. Throw it up. Okay. Yo, Days of Future Past. Throw it up. Which one I'm, is this? This is where it starts nobody. to get a little convoluted right Which here. What is this? What? One? Is this the stadium? Magneto? Is this? Is it this one where he like? Brings up the whole stadium or some shit. Not sure about that. Most likely it is. This is when it starts off. They're they're at war with the big ass robots, and the only way to fix this shit is to send Wolverine back in time. That shit was insane, and he has to go and basically like get Charles and and get these niggas together to stop this shit, bro. This movie was crazy. Oh, bro, put it. In I don't remember right it now. like that. Where, where do you? Where do you want? But I know I've seen this. Uh, what? Yeah, that's the way he's where talking. You, yeah, yeah, I would say as, this said. movie and is as? yes. I love this movie. This is where they break Quicksilver out of jail. That sounds familiar. It sounds like the uh, X Men movies are cool. They're they, all right. They, yes. They, they, yeah, they're not bad. Like the concept. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, at least. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Execution yeah, absolutely. might be a different question. Damn, bro. Uh, you just, like just them for... they're political. They're political. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe I would like them, but you leave my no, mutants alone. I, I said that wrong. They yeah. get they get Quicksilver to break Magneto out of jail. I said that wrong. They that's what it is was. That, that's the one where Juggernaut's like what, busting which, through the fucking walls. Which was uh, the scene where? Uh, is that what he's breaking out? I think Magneto. That's what he's doing. Unless I'm tripping. I, I know for sure they went up an elevator and, and then. Fuck! I don't know. Either. Okay. I, I just can't remember. I can't remember. Anyway. But, for reference, I, like all the for, I don't same. remember like this. And, and <laughs> shit, maybe if I watch it, I'm, maybe I'm with Cody. But for reference, first class, 86 and then 87 on the tomato meter and the audience score. 86, 87. Uh, future past, 90, 91. So this one's better than the first one, according to Rotten Tomatoes audience and critics. I just don't remember it like that. I don't know. No, that's I, I, there's a lot of them, so it's kind of hard. But I, yeah, I just remember yeah, the ones yeah, that I love. So this amazing. one was fucking great. I don't know if this checks out because, like, I wasn't kind of feeling first class S, but I do believe that it's a tier above what we have in A. So like, that's where I was kind of like, it could be the it could be the, it could be the back it could be the back S. I'm fine with that, but I'm like, talking about first slide class, everything down, not. not uh, uh, Days of Future Past. No, First Days class? of Future. I mean, you. I don't even. I like. I. I know. I've seen that, but I. I'm kind of. <sighs> yeah, I gotta. I don't know why I'm struggling. One. It's okay. Y'all gotta rewatch that one for sure. Um, if it was yeah, that good, you would think we would remember. Because yeah, they were. They. They went back because he had to stop them from making those robots that were basically just killing these niggas. Like it, it was taking their powers and killing them. Oh shit! Sentinels. I do remember that yeah. scene. Sentinels. I just don't remember like. And that that probably exactly was a scene. Was... It probably was that scene in the stadium. For being honest, yeah. it probably was. Damn. Okay, that's that's fine for now. Uh, moving on to Apocalypse, which should have been a banger. I do. Remember it should. This. It should have been a banger. They folded. It should have been. Let, a let's let's talk about this. Um, oh man, this is one where I feel like your boy Oscar Isaac didn't hit the mark. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't remember his his performance. Wait. Like yeah. You what got, was you? Was was he the problem? Was he hold the problem? on. Hold on. Yeah. Well, what, what's your just, problem with his performance? <laughs> I just want to know. I just want to know. 
He just wasn't a great Apocalypse. Okay, so I I, I knew nothing about Apocalypse himself. He's he's the very first mutant. He's like he's like thousands of years old, and they basically brought him. He he came back to life. I didn't have a problem with the performance. I just thought that the like the plot itself just I didn't. I guess I didn't get it much. Like how I don't know because it just it didn't it it just felt weird to me. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like every there was cool parts about this movie. Like there were dope scenes because that's how all the X Men movies are for me at least. I just didn't feel like the plot really was there. Like if that makes sense, I didn't have a problem with the performances at all. Well, I can see I can see comparing them to uh, to Apocalypse because Apocalypse is one of my favorite like Marvel characters. Um. Yeah, I can see. Oh that, shit, actually. really? Yeah, I can. I can definitely see how he's. Yeah, his apocalypse is not apocalypse. Oh, I was just like, bro. What is see, that's this? what I'm saying. I didn't. I didn't yeah. know that different. I just. I saw I it. See that. His character for apocalypse was really just a. Uh, he had like this non, not nonchalant, but like a he. He's so powerful. He doesn't have to react to shit. Type of deal. Like he just walked through and just controlled the room without actually like being aggressive. So I don't know if that's not how he is or not, but I thought it was okay. Because he's he wasn't menacing the movie, though. The, the movie itself, though, just off of the execution, was not great. So we got our first D. Uh, Ew. D. I mean, a reference I just because I gave you the first ones, right? Just, you know the first one, forty-seven sixty-five. See. They went from like great high eighties to fucking. Amazing yeah, with the second one getting even higher, uh-huh. and then the third one just just dropping it and just, just they fucked that, up the that, whole trilogy. That plot point that you're talking about is interesting because I found, apart from Oscar Isaac, and it could be script because he he Oscar. obviously he's a phenomenal actor. Um, but again, I just didn't like that. Um, but I found this movie rather boring. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if that is a tr- like an attribute to the plot. That's it could um, be, because I thought the lore itself was cool, like knowing that he was the first one and he had four yeah, horsemen. Absolutely. And oh, and he's he's a great character. That's what I'm he's saying. A great like, character. That yeah, shit was yeah. cool. I just didn't. It didn't. Now something wrong with the plot. It, it's something wrong with the plot. It just didn't stick. Like I only remember this movie for the good scenes it had, like Quicksilver scenes, like uh, the fighting. Most of the fighting was dope. Magneto scenes are always fucking dope. Like shit like that. Like the the intro scene was dope as shit, but like the plot just wasn't there. But this. God damn. Please. Yeah, I think I'm at a D. Me, I think I'm at a D. I'm at a C, but if y'all go D, shit, fuck it. Damn. I feel like I feel like some of these C's could be D's. That's why I, that's why I'm going C. Yeah. Okay. I think it's better than some <laughs> of those movies. I just feel like if we put this in D. Uh huh. It's gonna be like, how the fuck are these above it? Gotcha. <laughs> well, um, I think those are better than Apocalypse. If I'm being honest, you could put them in D. I think that's if you want. Y'all, I don't <laughs> but I think they are better than Apocalypse. You said it was boring. Okay. Are the it other was a little boring? boring. It was a little boring. We'll get to it. Deadpool. First one. Fucking first uh, portrayal from Ryan Reynolds to make a comeback the way he did. Yeah, and he's like he's Deadpool again. Like, and then, and then he just fucking yeah, he's is. Deadpool now. Like he's fucking that. That's Deadpool. Mm-hmm. He, he's that. That was an S. That's an S for me. Damn, that first movie they they for sure hit it on the nail. Like, yeah, it it, went, it, it is Deadpool to it. John seen this one, so John, what do you think? I don't know. S. Where do you have it? I was thinking A or B. He's Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking about the movie. This is like his role, and you want to put that shit in fucking B the way yeah, you were talking like, earlier. He is Deadpool. Like this shit is crazy. At first, niggas was like, "Now, I I, I loved that first one, and I, I didn't know shit about movie. Deadpool. Not me I didn't know shit me about that. I didn't know how the fuck none of that shit." That like that shit made me super excited it's like for the second one. <laughs> kind of, but then if it was really that exciting, I would have went and watched it right after. Yeah, but you're not into like the the comic scene, so I, that's understandable. Let's Especially also like, keep in mind it was a good movie though. But I don't know, ass Fox Fox's best movies. Would we consider Deadpool one of its best movies? That's what ultimately S ranks it. Yeah, for sure, for sure.
You don't have it in S or what? I do. Yeah, he said S. John said A or B. And I'm fine with S or A. Yeah, I'm, but I'm a, I'm a, with, with, with it said, yeah, I think S. Those for sure. three S's. Uh, I'm, it's I'm one of their. S. It's one of their best. Like, like you just gotta keep the stack. Logan, you don't need. No, I mean, no, no, you don't need to say anything. Yeah, man, that's man. number one. That's... <laughs> Put it I've on never, the S. I have never seen a picture <laughs> for the movie, but best believe that. Jesus. Yeah, I man. haven't seen it, but I haven't heard nothing but fucking great shit. Look at that picture, yeah. man. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. Um, Deadpool it better, two. It better be good. Oh, it, psh, amazing! Oh Which my one? God, I Logan, like man, it. Logan is Logan? phenomenal, man. No, her. She's talking about Logan. She's yeah, talking she's about talking Logan. About Logan. Yeah, yeah. I better like it too. <laughs> to me, uh, speaking for myself, this is clearly not as good as the first one. Uh-huh. No, no. Okay. Uh, we, 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 yeah, you speak <laughs> for everybody. What the uh, fuck? I'm speaking for everybody. First one. Uh, I think I'd go B. I was going to say, I don't I'm even know how A. I'm not mad at it. Yeah, no. Nah, I think I go B. Cable's in this one, right? This is Cable? Yeah, this is yeah, Cable. This is, this is yeah, Josh this is Brolin he, yes. coming off of Thanos. And we're like, oh, oh shit, hell yeah, let's go. Hey, he did good. Josh Brolin did good. It was just the movie, the plot. I don't know. You didn't like Josh Brolin in this one? That's Cable? He's Thanos? I didn't know Cable, yeah. so oh, I didn't shit. have an issue. That's the truth. I, I'm not going to say I'm not gonna say that. He's I... also Deadpool. Wait, oh. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what but damn, um, that one's I, really that worse than the first one? See like yeah, yeah. fuck. It was, it's not a worse isn't the worst. You know? yeah, like, it's not it's a because, bad movie. It's, it's just not, I'm, it's just not as good. Deadpool it's just not as good. A, and you guys are making that shit seem like it's way worse than that other one. Well, that it's sucks. one of the best Fox movies that like that they have. But when know. we talk about Fox movies, Deadpool 2 just isn't that sucks. Just they just one of their like you know they made it they made I it. think I would go B B's fine. Yep. That by my standard that should have been a C. Oh. Fuck that. I meant, no. to watch <laughs> I meant to no, watch I... this today and I forgot. It's better oh, than that one. You're still okay. I think I think so. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. I, yeah, so. I would agree. I don't remember yeah. the Silver Surfer bullshit one. I don't remember that. Oh, that Silver Surfer one. Yeah. I was like, what yeah. The fuck I, I could not remember. But uh, Dark Phoenix. That was the only one I have. This is the only one I haven't seen on this list. I heard. And I, I I, that one, I'm the only one that's seen this. I thought that one. Yeah, sucked. I think you are. I think you are. Yeah, I've that only heard bad things about this movie. Uh, that's our first F, isn't it? it? I've only heard bad things about this movie. Me too. I, yeah, me too. But I don't know. Damn! Not even throwing it in. <laughs> He's an idiot. idiot. Hell yeah! That, I I heard nothing but bad shit of that one. But I, yeah. That movie has one. Good scene. I said this to Jay Maguire. This movie has one fucking good scene. It's the train scene. They, they just excel at train scenes. This fucking company. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> right. Um. This, this, like for the amount of talent that this cast had, there was no excuse for this script to be that fucking bad. That movie to be that bad. This is coming off of of her being fucking Sansa in Game of Thrones. Lifeless fucking performance. Everyone like. These actors were too like, I, bro. <laughs> that movie is just fucking added a lot of garbage. <laughs> That's good. What is, what is the tomato meter? Please tell me. I, please. <laughs> if it's over fifty, I'm watching it, and it's going yeah. to be. I probably need to away now. Yep. Twenty two. There you go. Wait. It's not even half. Sixty four. Oh, I gotta watch fuck, it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. We gotta shut this down. It's yeah. definitely going into C minimum. C. Right, right now when we are rearranging stuff, minus. I'll, uh, we'll go through this. We uh, need to watch this together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, New Mutants. What do you, uh, am I the only one that's seen this one? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't yes. even know that was a theme. Okay. It, it was a bad movie, but what I did appre- <laughs> what I did appreciate about yeah. it though was we got to see different mutants on screen, and maybe they weren't done correctly, and the <laughs> plot of the movie was kind of boring and and weird I, I think i'd go d on new mutants uh we got to see i don't know if you guys are gonna watch it or not so maybe i won't speak on the characters but oh, yeah no. uh, it, 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 they also try to do something different with this one and this was also like when disney happened and stuff and this shit was like they had, had it done or, or apparently they had reshoots and shit like that and then disney bought it and it was mm. just in limbo for a minute and they just decided to release it uh as fast Damn. as they possibly could um so maybe that's why too it, it was bad. 
But this was their first attempt at, at trying something different, and New Mutants was a horror movie. So, John, I don't know if you want to check that out off of that. It was right, to be a horror. as well. I mean, yeah. was it really? Um, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, this yeah. Was, it was supposed to be a horror movie. You going D hurts, because I've heard this is fucking garbage, and now I don't... <laughs> I don't know okay. if Dark Phoenix is worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's. Uh, I think our S's are fine. I think. Let me see in that order. I think. I think I'm fine with that order. Actually, what do you guys think? Got lower Deadpool. Damn. <laughs> First day. Why do you feel that way? Was it really that fucking extravagant? I didn't. Extravagant. Consider. Yeah, I was just hyping up Ryan Reynolds, not fucking Deadpool. Movie <laughs> that is Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I think one uh, thing you're forgetting, John, is we're, so... we're ranking the Fox movies between themselves, so it's not like, like yeah, an, in our opinion, have... it is an S but, movie, but between the Fox movies, it's an S Fox movie. I but there's five fucking S ring Fox movies. Yes. The only one I think I could move down, and I think might be first class. The top eight. Uh, y'all, y'all can make an argument if y'all that want, that and that'd be fine. But that movie was great. It's crazy because I know I saw it. I don't remember shit of it. That sucked. Yeah, I think we're good. That was when he That's... was on the beach picking up all the ships. Nah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm good. I think with, it's like Lenny Kravitz. Kravitz's daughter I, I or some mean, shit. I don't, I don't got a problem with first class. That quarter uh, scene, A's. bro. Oh, my God. A's. What X, is that? Uh, Fantastic X-Men, Four? X-Men and Fantastic Four. Is that fuck? Is that first one too high, bro? Is that just nostalgia? X Men. For the first, they're both the first one. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you're right. You're right. Yeah, that's why. Uh, that's Fantastic Four. No. Oh, maybe they're both like, nostalgia. Like Andre- like, Andrea Andre- saw this one too, so I don't know. I, I thought that one was good, but then like nothing. what Cody's saying, yeah, yeah, I do know. It's like Guardians that, for me. Like, uh, that, that shit was, was like dope. my first superhero movie I probably even saw. Yeah, that was my first superhero movie. I'm like, what the fuck? This orange thing is a rock? It's talking. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think I think I still have it in it. I think it's fine where it's at. That was a... Okay. Who's the bad guy? That one's Doctor Doom? Doctor Doom, yeah. This is also Doctor I'm trying Doom. to remember more of it, but... Yeah. Uh, RBs. Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 is our sequel. Look at that. Deadpool 2 and Fantastic Four. I think people would say that Fantastic Four... Two is too high, but I think we're having it in a good spot because everybody has the same issues with this movie. With those other movies up below it, you think it's in a What's good spot? What's wrong with this movie? Galactus. I don't remember. Uh, this is Galactus. Yes, Galactus shows up in this. Is the cloud? Is this? Yeah, this is. Y'all didn't remember that? That's the whole. Are we tripping? Yeah, yeah it's a... But he, he's the cloud. Yeah, right? that's the cloud Galactus. I didn't know of that. So oh. to me, I didn't have that issue. Everybody else hated that shit. What does that mean? Oh, Galactus is a, a, a full being, and they made him a yeah. cloud. Hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. so now it should be lower. Guys, I got to fight B, man. <laughs> Fuck. I, honest, I, I, in my brain, I thought that out. that Galactus shit was in the Michael B. Jordan one. No, that was this movie. <laughs> this was also the movie where they were like, their powers were getting messed up, right? They were switching powers. Oh, no, this isn't a B. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, they were switching powers. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Just for references, Fantastic Four, 3851. Okay. The Wolverine, 7169. Origins Wolverine, 3858. That one's good. That's a little higher than I would have thought for for, for that one. Uh, Apocalypse forty seven sixty five, Dark Phoenix twenty two sixty four, New Mutants thirty six fifty six. So sounds like the Wolverine goes up one, Fantastic Four goes down, but behind down, Last yeah. Stand. I think so. Yeah. Surprisingly, the highest one on here that we're thinking of is the Wolverine, which seventy one sixty nine. I think that one was pretty good, and I think Jeff can attest to that. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Cloud Galactus versus No Mouth Deadpool versus oh. Apocalypse. First mute, man. You, you said No Mouth I Deadpool? Think, I think just based off of that, right? Let's just, yeah, No Mouth Deadpool. He, like, what they, happened? They, he, they got rid of his mouth. Like, yeah, what the up. fuck? He was Deadpool with He's No just, Mouth. Yeah. I think Last Stand goes up in front. I think Apocalypse can go in front of Cloud Galactus and Deadpool. I'm okay with that. 
I think we leave those two a C, and then we can start fighting for D here with Fantastic Four, and then Origins going to D. What do you guys think about moving them down to D, though? I've never seen Origins. Okay, Fantastic Four for thirty-eight fifty-one. And then we got Origins, thirty-eight fifty-eight. Wow. I can't defend that Galactic. I totally like, bro. Fuck okay, that so, movie. So did you like that? <laughs> you like that, or what? you like Deadpool? Why is it a cloud? Than Galactus? Like it's an imagination? No, nah, they. He's just a. Yeah, a just movie. a fucking being. What he is. Yeah, he's just a. a it's just a cloud Columbus being. cloud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, cause, like they did the same type of shit in Doctor Strange, and I can remember that oh, more. That and that shit pissed me off horrible. Yeah, Dormammu. Yeah, this is worse than that. Cause, like, why the fuck even do Galactus? <laughs> why is it a cloud? Like, this this is fucking Galactus we're talking about. They were that's setting the up for the next movie, man. Bro, no, bro. Well, that's like the most evil being of them all. Mm, one of he's just he's just him he's just not a fucking cloud <laughs> <laughs> silver uh, surfer was cool was silver surfer or- was cool right the end of the opponent but origins had cool like, shit oh, origins oh, silver surfer things. peeked through her sports field. silver she surfer was scared. badass silver surfer was badass wasn't he i thought he was they thought badass. they could fuck with him they can't fuck mm-hmm. with him but then oh did, he was losing to dr doom are we leaving those I, in c or you want to put them uh, down to d I mean, I've heard nothing them, but man. fucking horrible things about the new mutants. This that's why. That's why we'll, we'll get to same. it. Yeah, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. So that's why. I think we move those two down, and I'm fine with moving the mutants down. To so what the well. fuck? <laughs> hey, my type of shit. Okay. Well, I think Fantastic goes in front. I no. <laughs> I just, I just, I just, off of off of memory of what, what you were telling us too, like you kind of jog my memory. They did were losing their powers and they were swapping powers and shit. And then the that sounded like familiar too. Yeah, yeah. I guess I had nostalgia running through my head and I didn't remember all, <laughs> all the bad. I just remember Silver Surfer was badass and he was flying through the fucking city. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I yeah, remember. I, I think Origins is better than than Fantastic Four. Like I said, Chris Evans on a yeah. dirt bike, man, doing flips. <laughs> so I think that's fine for me the way we have D and then our what the fucks or what the fucks we got New Mutants at a 36.56 Dark Phoenix at a 22 but a 64 Dark Phoenix still had like you know like Magneto and shit like okay. there's things that you can like like in that movie okay but I'm gonna tell you right that now, movie's... New, New oh, Mutants what? didn't have any cool scenes like that like a the fucking Dark cool, Phoenix is in front. Cool 100%. train scene and shit like that. Like nah. Like I said, yeah. I've only heard horrible things about New Mutants. So it was it was set in an asylum and they never left that bitch. <laughs> so That's Yeah, tough. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that then. There you guys go. I think we're good. I think we're all good. Let's fucking rank our Fox movies before Thursday, Deadpool and Wolverine. Hopefully that'll be joining our S's up there. I don't think it'll take that top spot. What do you guys think about that? You think it'll take Logan's spot? No, absolutely no way, right? not. Absolutely there's no way. Not. Yeah, there's no. Not with but. the MCU impact of an eight. <laughs> impact to the story, man. <laughs> <laughs> there you guys go. Let us know what you guys thought about the list. I'm sure you guys will have opinions on it and say all types of shit. Right. Let's, let's hear it. Right. Let's hear it. <laughs> so go ahead. Just let us know. Uh, moving on to our next one here. Uh, we're getting into final thoughts and our ratings. For and the box office for Deadpool and Wolverine. So what are we what are we thinking on Deadpool and Wolverine? What are we expecting to get out of this? What do we think is gonna happen? I don't know. What do you guys want to talk about on Deadpool and Wolverine? I and mean, then we'll give our readings in our box office. After hearing that eight. Go ahead, John. I'll let you go first. Well, I was just gonna say number wise, money. I should just gonna yeah. make a shitload of money. Not guaranteeing it's gonna be a great movie, but it's just gonna make a shitload of fucking money. And that's all they're going to look for. They're not going to give a fuck no. about anything else. Bullshit. See, no, MCU man. 8. They're not going to give a fuck about that. <laughs> they don't care. They don't care. He clearly cares because he wouldn't make that announcement unless he understands that <laughs> that's what we all been wanting. We've been wanting something to impact the MCU and actually push us forward. And that's what he knows. So he said, all right, I'm letting y'all know this is this is what it is. We're coming into something that we're expecting, and we know we're going to get what we expected, at least on the surface level. 
But if those other movies were it. like, oh, this MCU impact levels a two. But that's what I'm saying. They never did that. They're doing no, this no, now they never, they because never of that. <laughs> they know everybody's been bitching about it. For right. rightful, rightfully so. So, yeah, I'm with Cody on it. That's what I expect. Let's um, let's go through ratings. Let's go through rating predictions. I think, I think I'm gonna end up at a nine with this. Uh, That's a good spot, honestly. Mm-hmm. I think so too. I, I was gonna say at least an eight. I think we can all agree right now. It gets one point off the bat for LFG. We're biased here with LFG's canon now for the fact that they have LFG in that shit. That gets one point. So if it ends up at a nine, it's a 10 because it's LFG. I'm just letting you all <laughs> that shit know right now. Um, but no, yeah, yeah I, I think I think I'm at a nine. And we'll see that rewatch and see. But it's, that, that first watch is going to be fucking. Yeah, I feel like that, that's going to be yeah. tough for sure. Because there's yeah. like we're going to be on a high, bro. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why I always say you have to sit with it for a while. When, yeah, yeah. I think this is different than No Way Home, mainly because with No Way Home, we were just so dr- like fan service was through the to roof, the, mm-hmm. whereas we were just forgot about the plot, really. Whereas this one, I feel like they need to focus on that plot for us to enjoy it. We've already had that no like, way home experience. I feel like it's not going to be like that. I think it is going to be fan service. It's going to be a gimmick movie. Nah, there's no I, way. I get, nah, I, I, I get what Cody's so. saying. We're going to see right through that shit this time. We'll yeah, like, like we already this movie no, sucked we, dick. They're, okay. If it sucks. They, it's already made. So I feel like. Yeah. I, it, I feel like it is going to be like that. But then I, I get you too. Not. Hopefully I, not. Hopefully I, we can see through the bullshit and don't get. Yeah. I'm very. I mean, I'm very like anti superheroes. Right well, that's what I was gonna yeah. say during the review. You'll bring the the realism. <laughs> yeah. You'll bring us back down to earth. <laughs> yeah. You'll have to just um, keep, just just keep your mind on the plot. Yeah. That should be right watching the shit. <laughs> the plot, all right? Because we're we're in there like, oh shit, fight oh, the shit, back, man. Bro. The portal's opening, man. Like damn, the portal, that's what we're man. watching. That's so. the end of the movie. We know that's the end of the movie. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> gotta be. I don't know. That's the last thirty. Andrea's minutes, gonna be keep watching the movie through a critic's eye, and okay, this mm-hmm. makes sense. Now, why the fuck did they do that shit? Look right? at this. Imagine that, that's having to watch movies like that. You can't even enjoy it. You're nitpicking little things. I used to be able to, no, but uh, I can't no yeah. more. Fuck. Oh, well, we need one more movie out everything. of you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. I think I'm at the nine too, though. I think I yeah. agree with that. Nine, it's nine. A little too high. I, I think so like too. A seven or eight. I give it. I give it this, everything oh. about this movie screams gimmick. Yes, fuck. They, they're releasing fuck. controllers I, with ass cheeks. Like, come on. <laughs> no, yeah. that's come on. that. I don't that's think that. Even has more to do gimmick. With movie, it's just. Gimmicks. I think it's coming at such a convenient time for them because they have nothing right now. Mm-hmm. So what are they gonna do? Let's do a buddy movie. Okay? Well, to be Deadpool. fair, this was this a was bromance. This was already announced years ago. This was already going. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Well, announced, not, well but not... it was it was Deadpool three though. It wasn't yeah. Deadpool three. Oh, Hugh yeah, wasn't coming it was, back. Right, right. It was that's Deadpool true. three, but at the same that time, true. there was already the rumors of Wolverine. So like, Just, what they had was already there. I, I guess. No, I think once but then they for them it, to change the whole name and Hugh. all that, I don't believe. Yeah, that. no, they cast yeah. a Hugh and they they actually change the shit. I'm pretty sure that's. What I happened. thought so, right? That's exactly what happened. Yeah, but I don't know. I have very little hope for Marvel and right then now. After hearing how Hopefully serious, uh, after hearing how serious Ryan was, because Ryan said he wasn't gonna let them bullshit. Hmm. Oh my god! Oh, uh, we'll I don't see. know. But We're hopefully, though, hopefully, people. we'll see. That's what's hard. You had a nice That's what's hard. Yeah. Yeah. That lie for us. That's yeah. Ryan, yeah. Ryan, 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 Ryan. That's Ryan, motherfucking nah. Reynolds. Well, hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> Tell doesn't him, John. Let him, nah, yeah, hopefully no. he doesn't let him dick around, man. Not with his name. So, all right, then we got three nines, <laughs> two eights. Uh, let's move into our box office real quick. Projections, and then you guys can kind of make your estimates around that. Projected anywhere between 167 to 214 million. On the high end, two hundred and fifty million. So that's your range right there between one sixty to two fifty. That's it's your range. Yeah, that's that's out. opening. That's opening weekend. That's the projections. Do you get? It, where do you guys think it's gonna make on that? It's opening weekend. I think it it beats inside yeah. out. Yeah, it's no. not gonna be inside out. Ah, that's so no, tough, so bro. Inside out cheated, man. They're gonna. I think so. Like, there, there was something wrong, to. bro. 
They have to. Who the fuck I'm is still watching that movie? That's what we're going to find out when that, that, that documentary comes out. Uh, inside out, inside out. The inside, inside out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck. Uh, yeah, for sure. Though. It, it, the it, hype around this so. movie this is to save the MCU, like like for everybody, I guess. Yeah, so you, it's, yeah. it's too big to it's say it's beating not. inside out. And if I think it's, it's easily do the same as uh, it's not beating it, it's not beating it out. Easily, no way home. First it's week, definitely doing week, numbers. Bro, the it's fuck? Doing hey, numbers. it's killing it. I think it's killing it. You think it's gonna kill one point four billion dollars in the that, first week? Now was it the first? Not the number he said. The one point four four three. Inside Out 2 made 151 million domestically. 50. 151. 151. I think, I think it could clear 151. It could, it could beat that. I think it could. It's getting two. What what made the most opening weekend this year? Was was it Inside Out? That sounds Dune. like it, to be honest. Or... Yeah, because remember it was Dune. Before. Oh, it was Dune and then, it yeah, was Dune, Inside yeah. Out. Yeah. It, it's beating that. It's beating I think that. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. A movie about we, sand? Because uh, I want to say, I don't think uh, Marvel has really dropped a movie like on this level where everybody is mm-hmm. expecting We're to watch waiting. this. Expected to watch and, this. Yeah. Like, there's so many people where, yeah, this is hit or miss for them. This is their last movie. Possibly this is V1. So, yeah. Like, so many people are going to watch this fucking movie. 151 with Inside Out. I think it beats this this opening record. I think it beats that. The opening, yeah. I'm not talking. I think yeah, I the rest is. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where Inside Out's yeah. getting those numbers, man. <laughs> it's just crazy numbers. But opening, I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna go 200 million. I think it goes. Yeah, I say think it can do it, man. I'm gonna watch it like three times. Week. First yeah, week, yep. yeah. Opening weekend. So that's just that's just the three days. If I'm not mistaken, opening oh, weekend starts Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't think Thursday counts. E. I think uh, really? It's really high though. If I'm not mistaken, That's I think Thursdays big. don't count. I think if yeah, anything, it'll see. almost break a million, a hundred million. Sorry. That's pretty low. I, I, or maybe like a hundred and twenty. I don't think it's gonna be inside out. Because they said I, inside out was. But on, you know what? I'm very soured on. I I feel like the fact how like how I feel about superhero movies right now. It's it's clouding everyone... my judgment a lot. No, yeah, I, I, it is. I get that too, and but like. I was going to say, because it's another thing you got to point out is it's pretty crazy how much Marvel movies like take on these lists. Like they're they're always high on these lists. Mm-hmm. And this is one of those big movies for Marvel. So it's expected to be this another high one. Literally their biggest because people are not going to watch the ones after this shit. For real. If it's shoe sucks. If it's ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, And opening weekends are Friday to Sunday. Thursdays do not count. So. That's Keep crazy. that in mind too. Maybe, maybe that'll affect it. But. That does affect it. Because what the fuck? Where does go... that imaginary m- uh, money go then? I'm gonna go one fifty. No, it, it goes towards the movie. It just doesn't count towards its opening weekend. It's just but gross in total. Just uh-huh. isn't. But what? Oh, never mind. I'll go one eighty three. Write it down. Because watch it be exact. That is scary. Damn, we're doing <laughs> yeah, exact. I'm doing two twelve. Damn. I do 12. say two also. I'm doing 136.2. All right. <laughs> I'm doing uh, 212.84. I put <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. And then what do you do? You, okay. I guess the biggest question here does this make the billion dollar clip? No. If it's good, yes. If it's okay, you're, you're, no. You're saying through time, like, right? Like, yeah. The, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I say, yeah. I say, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's I but it's because not it's a lot of hit I'm, billion. I'm just like, uh, but that's me. Right I just now. think it doesn't have to exceed expectation. It just has to hit the expectation where we're like, okay, they got it. But, but what are the expectations eight, that there is that it's going to turn that it's going to you know launch Marvel into the into what into into the, the next, next phase? phase? That's true. Yes. Yeah. What is the next? That it, is a crazy expectation because uh, they should have been on that. Like that's yeah. That, that's that, why. Like that. The bar is so low. Well, did No Way Home make a billion? One point nine. I think he could do it. I think he could do it. One point nine. Yeah. Damn! It almost made two. Yeah, it almost made two. Yeah, okay, that's crazy. They're waiting for that. Re- oh, I they did release. Really but was that one? Beats, honestly, I think it beats No Way Home. Yeah. Damn. Damn. And that that was mostly nostalgia for people, no? Yeah, people wanted to see three Spider Man. After oh, that yeah. that uh that leaked uh trailer where he kicked nobody. Oh psh. 
It was raps. <laughs> it was. You think raps. Q's bigger than Andrew and? Uh... No. 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 <laughs> no. But. Oh my god. But. What it? Why means... are you so shocked? <laughs> yeah. Why are you shocked, nigga? People love He's this Spider-Man. Not... He's not bigger than them. He's not bigger than them. I like Spider Man. He's not bigger than them. The those That's characters crazy. are not. Are uh, his character is not bigger than their characters. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's there you guys go. <laughs> Nines and eights. I think we all went over two. No, except for Andrea. Everybody else went over two hundred. For yeah. 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 Though she I, said one thirty. What did you say, right? You said a weird ass number, right? Okay, 37. Well, I said 136, but you know what? I don't know nothing about anything. I'm just a girl, so don't. I'm just a girl. Like, she she likes to use that when it benefits. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. When it's yeah. convenient, yeah. right? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. No, but but, but earlier today, it's because I know everything. I know. Yeah, everything. Uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> everything just to benefit her. No, so. it's because I don't know numbers, all right? We're over here telling you the numbers. We're telling I don't straight. know. Um, he told you what the estimate was between uh-huh. this and this. And you went below that. Yeah, way below it. Because <laughs> I don't and, and, know. And honestly, those like, that's a good estimate, though, because that's but ticket, then maybe. T- ticket sales. That's ticket sales already, you know, pre-sales. That we, mm-hmm. Like us, we bought our tickets. Already. They know that money's coming wow. in. Wow. So. All right. <laughs> take that. Yeah, okay, so yeah, put, your, put a real answer. It's because, babe, those, like... We- that number is nothing to me. Like, okay, well, we're just I can't fun. even just pick a number. picture a number like that in my head right now. I just pick a number. Okay, like, what did you guys say? I, I get Between what you're saying. Between 167 and 214. Well, we gave you at. estimates to make it's projections. <laughs> okay. Between 167 and 214. Okay, I am picking... Uh, one... <laughs> Hear that one sixty seven. That sounds good. One sixty five. <laughs> no, one eighty three. Oh, <laughs> what? Is that the number you Why said? Are you laughing? Exactly on the team. <laughs> oh, it is. That is right. That's scary. That's a trip. Because we're. That's yeah, a trip. I I dap for us. That'd be a <laughs> <That's> <laughs> dap. Oh, there you guys go. That's, That's a trip. All over. It's gonna make Over the billion dollar club. Yeah. We all we all agree it's gonna make the billion dollar club. So very surprising if it doesn't. But there you guys go. Our projections, our ratings. Let us know what you guys thought. What are you guys expecting from this movie? What are you guys gonna rate it? And what do you think it's gonna make? Uh, you'll know all of that. Out. Yeah, you'll know yeah, all of that by the time know. it comes out. So, yeah. so let us know. Let us know we were right. Then there you go. Let, let us Tell us in the right. comments who was yeah, right. Somebody screaming at the screen right now. These fucking idiots. <laughs> it's like the, it's like the scene in Interstellar. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> it's gonna be me actually. It's stupid. <laughs> there you go. Stupid. There you go. That's well, cool. before we head on out, our what to watch? What do we watch? What do we play? Or perhaps what do we listen to this week? Who wants to go first? Who's got what to watch? Is I go first. I go first. I go first. Go for it. I watched. Kai, ah, I thought I said Kaiji. Uh, no, I, uh, I've been, I've been, I've been cutting up on. Uh, That's disrespectful. That's cool. I've been cutting up on college football, man. You know, spending that bank, putting the paychecks yeah. in, because ultimate team is just taking my life again. Um, I'm trying not to be as bad as I used to be, but. He needs you know, more work on it. <laughs> he needs more work. He said you're trying. We're, we're currently, on, we're currently on five hundred dollars spent, so we're just gonna try and leave You've it. You've spent $500? We're just going to try and leave weekend. it at a reasonable it's number. It's been now since like Monday. what, Tuesday? Oh my god, not even a week. We're going to try and keep it at a reasonable number by the end of the year. We're what trying the fuck to is ex- a reasonable number let's, to let's, you? Let's make that, we're going to make that, that a is... weekly game. We're going to make that a weekly game. So here we go. As of right now, Cody's at 500 on that on uh the NCAA. Bro, that's crazy we'll check in next week over under a thousand by next week go ahead and drop those down in the comments below there's no way it's over it, let's there's get no hey let's get the over. estimates of what we think he's gonna be it's only at <laughs> it's only at 500 because of a glitch so we're not gonna we're not gonna sit here and act like that was gonna happen no before that's that before that glitch how much was it at? like 250 that's a ridiculous that's still crazy so that's, so so ridiculous. Ridiculous. So that's crazy that much money on a game 
Yeah. Where? Where? What's yeah. the physical? Where? No. Where? No. Where is it no, going it's, to? It's in here. It's in here. Wow. It's like it's like a, a drug. Your brain is free. It, it's in here after I whip those motherfuckers online. I feel good. That's it's yeah, crazy. it's in here. That shit. <laughs> Tell him, Justin. After, uh, after that, after them one niggas, that shit hit. Wait a minute. How many? How much have you spent? We're not going to do that. Next question. A couple, no. a couple dollars. A couple Which is dollars. how much? A couple, a couple dollars. You better answer. No, nah. he did. When, when I spend, goes like to both of our teams. Oh, okay. So you're the yeah, one. Yeah, we're a combined team. Spender. You're the problem. He's, yeah. he's the he's the owner. He, he cash apps you. Shout out. Shout out my nigga Cody. There you go, NCAA. Uh, I'm pretty Terrible. sure a lot of you guys are, are playing that, so go ahead and let Cody know if you uh, whoop his ass. You know, All right. No. Uh, <laughs> put down uh, your cell so they could sell you. I'm about to have Tim no Tebow. Oh. So they could sponsor your your. Yeah, help your me efforts. get Tim Tebow, man. I need like you. You wanna you wanna uh, you wanna play against Cody? Drop your PSN down below. Oh no <laughs> shit. We only ten dollars. We only pay for fifties, man. Oh, oh shit. 50, 50 never mind i need to make that money back john said never mind, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> you're all in the party <laughs> <laughs> who else who else got what to watch yeah i haven't played it yet but it is a what to play uh it's on the phone metal slug it's a new metal slug Ooh. for the phone oh was, new oh, yeah funny. yeah I, I was just like they need to make a new metal slug and sure a fucking enough <laughs> I swear, I swear. I was just, I was just thinking of Metal Slug. I was just like, was damn, just I love that like, dude. Damn, man, I miss Metal one Slug. And then I get a notification. No, but no, yeah, uh, it just came out. I haven't played it yet, though. I have so many other apps, but it's Metal Slug. Can it go wrong with it? You go. That uh, is funny as fuck. Why? A, a quick, quick story. Uh, there was somebody, uh, he who shall not be named, him and him and John, they were hanging out. And I swear to God, this is how they told me the story. Yeah, man, me, me and John were smoking weed in the backyard. <laughs> we were just, we were thinking to ourselves, man, there's really no tax in the PlayStation store. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Fuck. Y'all two days Fuck. later, yeah. they yeah. added <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, oh yeah. that's how that happened. We, we get a whole email starting tomorrow. There will be tax. <laughs> oh, fuck. They I remember that shit. To you nah, guys. I remember that. Yo, that was bro. Crazy. I thought tax was going, and they didn't know it. Like, they were getting taxed. <laughs> Nigga, they they brought that shit to life. Yeah, yeah, wow, that, you manifested that. a yeah, tax. I, that's I, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've manifested a whole lot of bullshit to be honest. You should, you should uh, manifest like a million dollars. Manif- million subscribers. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll make that dollars back, right? That's Go ahead, Jamie. Sorry. Now you gonna let me? Let me. Uh, I saw a show on Peacock this week that uh, I saw the trailer for it on Peacock, and I was like, oh shit, let me check that out. Those about to die. Uh, this was set in Roman times. Oh. It's Gladiator, pretty much, but a show. Um, with nice. Anthony Hopkins, we see Ewan Rayon, which was from Game of Thrones, Ramsey Bolton. Uh, I thought it was pretty Damn. interesting. Uh, I thought it was pretty interesting. It was, it was, I like the show. It's not doing too well, unfortunately, with everybody else. It's at 58 on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, and I, I, I guess I can kind of see that. But I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Ewan uh, Rayon, uh, his character, he's a bookie back in that time. And, and I thought that was pretty cool because I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, translated in Roman times, like you see betting and shit like that. But he's the actual bookie, and he's the one. First thing you see, he's going and collecting that money. And if he doesn't collect it, then you're done. Uh, so I thought that was pretty interesting. You get the emperor uh, aspect with Anthony Hopkins and his two sons, and the power struggle between that. Uh, and then this was, I thought this was hilarious because me, me and Jet did the trailer reaction for Gladiator Two. We saw the water scene in the Colosseum, and uh, cool. that was going to be the first time that they had ever done that, that shown on screen. Well, these guys beat him to it, and they got the the water done. Oh, I think it was wow. like the, not not Mount or something like that. They did it first, so Gladiator uh, couldn't cannot claim that no more. Um, but yeah, another interesting thing about this uh, show, real quick too, was the Coliseum wasn't built yet. They were in the middle of building the Coliseum, so they were focusing on horse races and shit like that, the carriage races. So that was pretty cool. Like you think Roman right Empire, you think of the Coliseum and shit like that, right? Yeah. So that was pretty cool to see that. You know, the Coliseum wasn't built. You see it, like, near the end of the season, like, the last two, three episodes, it being done, and they have a whole festival and shit. That shit was cool. 
but yeah those about to die uh if you guys like you know roman times the gladiators the type of things i would check it out i'd go give it a a watch see if you like it but I, I enjoyed it so there you go those about to die on what to watch shit um yeah i got two uh two well one that may shock people here um but i guess the first one uh i watched the original twisters oh the OG? um the, yeah, the OG. I believe it was on HBO Max that I watched that on. Yeah, yeah that's your front center. Check Listen. it out. Well, you weren't invited? Watch something. You weren't invited or what? Where were you at work? Oh, no. He was just supposed to sit there all day? I'm just no. supposed to sit in my room and be quiet. <laughs> yeah, you can't say a word. I mean, you could like do something else, like watch stuff so, that like I'm so, not interested so, in. So when Jed said it'll shock some people on this panel, he meant Andre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it wasn't funny. even that one. It wasn't even that one. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. No. Twisters. She's like, Make she doesn't even feel, love me. Feel bad for watching something that's crazy. Look, Don't feel bad. Don't gaslight is, him. You're not. You're not gonna gaslight him. <laughs> you care about Twisters? I from 1996. I care about anything. <laughs> that's good. a good movie. You didn't okay, even say it was well, good. I, I'll, I'll cow- run by my my what to watches. Why? You. One Piece. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's 2,000 episodes. That's going to be my next 2,000 what to watch. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Um, that was a fu- that was a fun movie. Like I re- when we were watching the uh, trailer for the new one that's coming out. Um, I said on there I really like tornadoes and just like watching that shit i've watched a lot of um, storm chasing videos and, and shows and stuff um so i am very excited for this new one um and I've, I've i've heard nothing but good things it's it's doing really well in the box office so that's really good and, and yeah this one this is a good movie um it's always cool watching 90s movies because you know obviously the technology wasn't as good and there's uh you know some practical effects and things like that and obviously that one had um the effects that it did but nah that shit was cool that shit was a dope movie um so yeah um if you are really excited to watch twisters i would recommend watching the og um because that just got me more hyped to see the new one um so yeah twisters for sure um and then my second one let me make sure i uh say the, the right name of this yes okay so I watched Lord of the Rings, <laughs> Fellowship of the Ring. <laughs> wow. Extended edition? Yes, actually. Oh, I did. shit. That's you were crazy. there for five hours? I, I didn't that, think that, that was, was just... on uh, HBO Max, but yeah, those are those are on there as well. So, like, I started the original one and I was like, fuck, I might as well, I might as well get into this. Um. <laughs> Wow, what a fucking film. <laughs> what a fucking, what a fucking wow. movie, man. Wow. I get it. I <laughs> fucking get it. Like, oh, shit. You are I not like watching that. You are you not watching watch that. that. You are not movie. watching That's... that. You are looking at her. <laughs> you are not watching that. You, you would have fell asleep. You would have fell asleep. We would never know. We'll never know now. No, we would. I just told you. <laughs> Bad. Yeah. I don't know. That first one was great. That first one was amazing. Um, well, now we'll never know. Yeah. F- I'll never. <laughs> Frodo Baggins. What a, what a main character, man. The fucking ring. What a fucking story. Um, it was cool seeing all those old actors. Uh, uh, Ian McKellen was in there. Uh, damn, Orlando Bloom. <laughs> yeah, Legolas. Man, what a I, I, I laughing. I, I can't even get through my what to watch, <laughs> man. Good, because every word you were saying, it's a new face with her. She's looking somewhere else. Because <laughs> that's crazy. Finish your what to watch. I don't want to. You weren't gonna watch it. I would have. That's why he had to make time by himself. That's, that's, 
Wait, no, no. <laughs> Justin, no. he fucked you over, huh? I bet. John did. Tell him nah, where nah, you watched nah, it. Nah, then that's oh. your fault. Tell him. What, what does that mean? What does mm-hmm. that mean? He watched it on his phone. Oh. And I was right there. Oh. You could have put it on the TV. Well, hey, let me just say, <laughs> if he liked it, watch, if that's, he, oh, that's fucked up. You took the TV. <laughs> if he liked it, watch it on this little ass phone, bro. That's that, crazy. That's even that, funny. Yo, wow. I ain't going to lie. That's why the Lord of the Rings is not that crazy to me. Yeah, I think it's nah, still. Bro, it. no. that's, that's small of a screen. I can't do that shit, bro. I don't know, I man. I was watching shit on the phone. That's a big ass phone, too. And Justin, let me know, man. You didn't did like that. Damn, that's crazy. But you have the Pro Max. Crazy. I mean, not to me. I'm not against watching something on the phone. No, like, it's not about watch being it. against it. Like, do you feel like it's that much of a difference? I Well, not to me, because that movie was a fucking 10. I don't know, oh, J-Mac. Shit. J-Mac, <laughs> I don't know, man. The phone watches no, I mean, up. Look, I, that might be me then, because, uh, you know, I can't play on a fucking monitor like everybody else in the world. Like, no, I can't do it. I have to play too. on a fucking Yeah, I get what he's inch. saying, though. I got to do that. Like, yeah. So. But hey, a ten. Okay, sticking on Lord of the Rings. A ten from Lord. Of, damn, that's. Say, oh my that's, god, somebody loves you, this shit too. All right, it's not just me. No, I wasn't because he watched Hobbit, and I'm surprised he. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, yeah, I was. Yeah. Okay, so I was gonna get into that. I don't know what the fuck they did with the Hobbit. You didn't like that. I'll send one, you a right? video later of what they did. <laughs> 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 but it like. This story is like it's it's just, it was just so much more intriguing. Like I actually gave a fuck. Um, it is the main story though, right? Yeah, the Lord, Lord of the Rings. Rings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. The Hobbits just of the one Hobbits. It's, been it's a it's a prequel uh, series of Frodo's uncle. I think that's what it was. Bilbo. Bilbo. Yeah, his adventures Bilbo before Baggins. retiring. Um, but yeah, I was just entertained throughout the whole fucking thing. And they oh. get better. Tell them, John, all five hours. I don't man. know if you continue all yet. All five but hours, you were entertained. They get better. He really said it. <laughs> <laughs> but that yeah, that story, just from the, the ring going from fucking Saron and then fucking, uh, what's his, the fucking little gremlin fuck? What's uh, his Smeagol. name? Uh, Smeagol and Golem. Golem. No, yeah. Golem. Yeah, because that's who, that's who got it. That well, well, they're the same person. They're the, same, the same, but like, same oh, yeah. uh huh. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Because yeah, then because then Golem got it, and then the fucking Hobbit. Got, like, it, like it's just that that ring traveling and just its powers, it, its connection to like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> How stupid! That's wow, that's crazy. Is there, is, uh, there a, uh, uh, is there a Harry Potter movie better than that movie? Oh, that's a good one because that's what people compare it to: Harry what? Potter's and Lord of the Rings. So boring. I was gonna ask if you if you would have actually like projected it onto the TV, would you have watched it? Well, that's tough because the, yeah, the best Harry boring. Potter to me is the last one, they and that's boring. a fucking all-out war. Obviously the story, but it's an all-out fucking like war. Um, and yeah. that's one of my that's one of my favorite. I mean, obviously this is too. I gave it a fucking ten. Um, but that's one of my favorite movies of all time. So like that's tough. I think I would rather watch that Harry Potter movie because I've seen it a lot. Um, so yeah, I don't. For me, because this this isn't the best one, right? It's Two Towers. That's the best one. Yeah, I think. People... Both both Two Towers and the Return of the King. Me and me personally, they're both fucking amazing. But I think Two Towers is the one that people regard as the best one. So yeah. Like I really enjoyed this. Maybe I'm on a fucking high of just that story and that world. That fucking world is crazy. Mm-hmm. Um But yeah, like like when it when my high comes down, maybe I'll like see the flaws or whatever, but <laughs> Yeah, man. That's, I don't think that, you're gonna that find him. That was epic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think he's gonna find him, bro. What... People regard this as the best. Yeah. One of, that is the best trilogy that we've ever had. Like, it's it's up there for best trilogy. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> that you know that horse man. drawing that you see all the time on me? Yeah, and yeah. Shit, and uh, it, that shit is a perfect, oh, it's it's a perfect cool. horse. Yeah, yeah perfect it's a complete horse. perfect horse. Yeah, that's that was that, stupid. That's, that's, that's what's it's up. actually a horse. It's a horse. But that scene when they're fucking I forgot what they call the, the, the soldiers on the horses that work for the ring or whatever. The Nazarak. Yeah. When they're hiding from him under that little like tree shit 
and he's like looking for them and there's just spiders and fucking like scorpions and shit just crawling over them and they can't mm-hmm. fucking like say it. I was just like, dude, th- man, that movie. That was great. Yeah. Did I ask y'all if y'all played the games? I played uh, one of them and I thought they were fucking fun. Because growing up, I played uh, Lord of the Rings Conquest. That's probably one of the best games I've ever played. Just wanted to say that. What is it? I don't think I ever played it. Multiplayer game? Yeah, it's a multiplayer game. You can be like everybody in the game and you can end up. It's it's like Battlefront, actually. Yeah. You're everybody's troops and then you can become the actual heroes. Mm, Once you get enough points and shit. Oh, shit. Okay. That's the truth. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. And Gandalf is crazy. Get, yeah, yeah. <laughs> watch the second one. Watch the second one. That's crazy. Yeah, watch the second one. That's get, crazy. Get do, you, do, you know, wow. do you know spoilers and shit from the movies just over the I don't know shit. shit. I don't, I oh, don't wow. Know shit. I don't know anything. Wow, you're now, nah, yeah. Watch the second one. Then, like, that's crazy. Yeah. Andrea, you got a, what to watch this week? No. She's yeah, what I could have watched. <laughs> I could have watched. You're Wolverine, <laughs> Logan, Lord of the Rings. What was your other one? Uh, would you have watched What's Logan? Be so for real. I can't watch shit when you're not here. You can watch like boring shit. He did. Lord of the Rings. I feel, I feel, I feel like I, I would haven't feel like, seen yeah. it though. It came out in 2000. But I'm see, not watching okay. new shit without you. No, listen. Like, okay, what if I would have liked it? And now, now listen, now listen to this. We're not watching it together now. Because now you watched it without me. But you can just rewatch now... it. I will watch that bitch again. Oh, you will. Yes. He just called it a ten. Mm, when I, I want to rewatch things, you're like, we've seen that. Yeah, but if it's not I'm a ten, a, I'm on a high of that world. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> now imagine Cody that mindset with One Piece. I'm telling you, that's all Woo! it took. Go watch, go watch One Piece. Well, I'm telling you, just it. start you watching One Piece, watch? and she has <laughs> to watch it with you. Hey, did you watch the TikTok that Jess sent me that I sent you? Uh, I think so. The One Piece haters. Yeah, the haters. I, yeah. I yeah. They were haters to the fullest. They did. I'm not a hater on it. It's just. I'm not a Not hater gonna begin. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, y'all are. You think they are? You, uh, no. Absolutely, they're haters. How? How? I, I, because I, you're refusing to like... watch a show because of what other people are saying about it. it has nothing that's to do with what anybody has to say I, about it. Because you say it's good, people eyes. say it's too long. I'm no. not gonna watch it. I'm just not gonna watch it. No, it. I'm. I. It, it's not that <laughs> it has it's nothing wrong. to do with what anybody says. That's I'm just why. not gonna watch it. It, it, it is a fact. It is a fact. Yeah, I, I'm not saying those... it's bad or nothing. I I think it's probably great. Like, it probably that, is. but I'm saying that doesn't matter if you don't watch it. Okay, let's not go too crazy into the one piece. We yeah, had a whole, yeah, we're about to do this. Right, right. right. The edit, the editing I had to well, do on the last four. episode, bro, because if we went into a whole one piece, it was crazy. But those yeah. guys, they made a whole fucking. Ch- they already had their YouTube channel, but they made a whole series of watching one piece, and you saw how the fucking nuts they went. Now, yeah. just start the show. What? Half of just, our half of our subscribers are one piece fans. We're here for that. Start talk. the fucking show. Well, it's going to be the same talk that we had last week. So if you want to see what it was, go ahead and literally. Yes. <laughs> that's, 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 did like you cut Justin. that? Is it in there? No, no, no. I, I cut certain pieces, but it was in there. I have a whole One Piece logo in the middle and everything. You guys, you guys like it. Just, so drop the like, like button she for that love one piece the fucking about. show, man. Now let's get to the who won the Wii. Oh, no. Uh, this What's is, yeah. Watch? Oh, yeah. I, What's what? I don't have one. I've just been playing Skyrim. That's oh, it. back to Skyrim. It's hard. It's fucking hard. All right. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. God. <laughs> like, You're playing a real game now? Yeah. Is it a absolutely. real game? That'll be yeah, a absolutely. real game. Because I, I see a lot of people. <laughs> All right, buddy. I will go on Reddit <laughs> and like look up like other people that have played it and maybe they're like struggling. And so if I can't do something or I don't know what to do, I'm like, uh, how do I do this here? You know, how do I do this? And then it's like most of the people commenting are like, yeah, I'm a beginner and I play Skyrim. So I'm thinking I'm playing a beginner game. It's getting harder too, and I like if it's too hard, like I'm not gonna keep playing because it's just <laughs> like I can only do it a, like a certain like as many times after like a, after a certain time because if I keep doing it over and over again, I'm not getting nowhere. Like I'm like okay, no, I can't. So hopefully it doesn't get too too hard for me. And I have it at the easiest level. Oh, I'm not even doing survival mode anymore because that shit was like. Oh, you were trying survival where you like you I die. Was that's doing, it. Doing 
no, no. You know, that's not what that one is. It you die, but you come back. But it is like it's easier for you to die because if the environment is is too cold, oh. you get sick. If it's oh. too hot, you know. If you Burn. encounter like wolves, you can get like diseases. That's why I remember I was like, I'm a vampire. I turned into a vampire because I was playing survival mode. I will turn off survival mode if it's too hard, but I I do like playing survival mode a little more because it's like a little more like stakes are higher. You get your stakes, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. That's crazy. Yeah. Get your stakes and <laughs> yeah, but um, it's it's a little hard, so I just for the meantime I have it off. Yeah. Right, well, we'll check back next week and see if she's still playing. <laughs> <Other scrolls. Yeah. laughs> there you go. All right. Well, this is going to be the last week we do our Who Won the Week. Uh, we got two season finales this week, uh, that being The Boys and The Acolyte. Uh, obviously, we still got House of the Dragon, but they're going to win the week every week from here on out. So just go ahead and think of it like that because they're the only ones. That's that crazy. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, uh, I guess I'll talk about it once House of the Dragon finishes and we can, I can do like a little wrap up of our June stuff that released. Uh, but if you guys didn't watch the boys, this is a no brainer. They absolutely won the week. Uh, best episode of the season by far, by far. Uh, that next season it is going to be crazy. It's going to be nuts. Soups are everywhere. This dude, Homelander is in charge, like officially, like in charge of the country, pretty the much. Country, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, next season is going to be amazing. That uh, next season is going to be amazing, and this just kickstarted everything. So it, it was really, really, really good. A lot of crazy shit happened in that final episode. So if you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. Go watch the whole season. It. I guess I'll talk about it at the end when everything's done. I'll wrap it up. Um, and then obviously the next one, House of the Dragon. You know what? No, I'm gonna give it to. I'm gonna give it to Acolyte. I'm gonna give it to Acolyte in second place this week. Um. We got we got some lightsaber fights for that season finale, which was cool. I like Manny Jacinto's character as the Sith, the one with the helmet and shit. I actually thought he did a good job overall and throughout the season. Uh, he was cool. He was menacing, not, maybe not menacing, but like tactical. And you would have never thought that was him. He was just playing this dude that was helping her and shit. But I, I liked his performance throughout. We get some. Imp- I don't. I was gonna say implications, but I don't even know if that's implications because I don't know if they're gonna get season two. We get a cameo, I guess, in 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 Darth a Darth. I don't want to say it if you guys haven't seen it. Uh, go check it out just for the cameo alone. We get, we get a Darth in there, so go go see it if you haven't seen it. I don't know if they're gonna get a season two. If I had to guess, I don't think they will. Um, but if they do, hopefully they can just make a drastic change on what they did this season and just do something else because. They introduced some aspects here that were, that was pretty cool, and I think it'll be pretty cool to see on screen. So I'm gonna give it to them. And Let's then do a third show place, him. Yeah, yeah. They they did a <laughs> yeah yeah for sure. So we'll see what happens. And then third place, House of the Dragon. Um, it ended very disappointingly to me. Uh, the way the episode ended. Another episode that just came and went. I, Andrea has her own problems with with Allison and Renera and. For Allison, I don't agree with it. With Rhaenyra, I do agree with it. Uh, and maybe she wants to talk about that right now a little bit. But I, the way they started this whole campaign of green versus black, and this is going to get ready, choose your side. Shit hasn't happened between that besides that one episode that we talked about. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Episode one at the end was crazy. And then episode six, I think it was, with 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 the dragon fight and all that was great. But... This season overall, so far, they got two episodes left, and they're they're, they're campaigning like, oh, only two episodes left. Are you guys ready? Like, All right, bro. Like, come on, like that's that's fucking crazy. You guys haven't done <laughs> shit this whole season. Um, and I thought we were gonna get some cool shit here because she's looking for for more people to help her, and they kind of teased that in the last episode, and they showed it here a little bit. There's one cool scene in here that was pretty cool to see. And then she's off at the end to go find something, and it ended. I was like, what the fuck, bro? Like, come on, at least show that interaction, and they did it. So, more disappointing. I, I don't... June, the June shows, for the most part, have been disappointing. Mm-hmm. It's kind of crazy to say that. It's been very kind of crazy to say that to me. And uh, we can talk shows. about it. When, well, the June leading into July shows, yeah. The ones that started in June and ended in July. So, it's kind of crazy. But, yeah, there you go. So, we got... 
what was it? House of the Dragon in third, Acolyte in second, and the boys by far, by far, by far, uh, in first place. Any thoughts really you guys qu- want to talk about? Right, really quick, I want to talk about um, House of the Dragon, um, and I guess Game of Thrones fans overall. Um, obviously, I'm not talking about everyone when I say this, so if this doesn't apply to you, disregard it. Um, but the rest of y'all, y'all are some bitches, and I'm gonna tell you why. Wow. Okay, I got a I got a bone to pick. Just don't regard me. I have been spoiled on House of the Dragon. That what she was talking about earlier. <laughs> no, this no this 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 would have been the second time. This would have been the second time I got spoiled. You had to tell them what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! On Twitter, and he's all, and I was just kind of like, I was like hugging him, so I was looking over his shoulder at his phone too. So he goes on Twitter, and all he sees is like Rhaenyra. Literally closes his phone and puts it down. And I'm like, you almost got spoiled, huh? Because me too. And he's like, yeah. And that's, yeah, that happens to us a lot. Yeah. um, The way that this Twitter app is formatted now, you just get the people that you're following on the right side of the screen. And then if you tap the left, it's like a for you. Terrible fucking idea. Because it's just giving you all types of tweets from just shit that, like, you're interested in. These Game of Thrones fans and these House of the Dragon bitches just keep posting spoilers from the book. Like, everybody is caught up in this shit. Like, we all read the books. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you guys. We do not all read the book. We are watching the fucking show. And I have been spoiled on three things now. Like three things oh, now. Yeah. You guys excited for this Me person too. dying? Like, like, <laughs> bar for bar, that is what those tweets are like. Yeah. I kid you not. And you go and you read the the like comments on the tweet, and they're like, "Well, I mean, uh, this has been out for a long time. It's not my fault. You guys don't read the books." And it's like, "What the fuck is wrong with you? Most people don't read the books." Like the mangas. And- they don't do that shit though. Nah. Yeah. They don't they don't do that shit yeah. though. Like you like you're you're gonna know what you're about to see as a spoiler. Like they let you know mm. for the most part. These people, they don't give a fuck. Like they just outright say it. Mm. Like, oh my god. I saw a really bad spoiler. What was too, it? And they oh I can't say it. <laughs> fuck. What was it? Because then that person she said what she said under her tweet. This person that I saw this this current spoiler for, she was like, uh, I'm muting this tweet now. It's like, bitch, no. you know what the fuck you're doing. Like, yeah. they're bitches. Yeah. They're bitches. I can't stand it. Yeah, it's annoying. So that's <laughs> yeah, my bone that's my bone to pick with Game of Thrones and House of the Dragons fans. You guys don't even deserve the winds of winter. Fuck y'all. <laughs> it won't ever get done it's okay that dude's concerned about other stuff <laughs> but all right any of you guys want to talk about boys or or I'm anything else that. um Good. i'll say what i have to say about house of dragon um i saw it on on well first i said it but i didn't realize what was wrong i told justin i was like rainier is just like so soft like she's just so soft like and the last episode, we haven't watched today's episode, but the last episode, I was just, like, kind of, like, just going through emo- through the motions with it. Like, I wasn't really, like, watching it mostly on my phone. I was just, like, whatever. Lots of talking. Just all episode. And I'm just, like, okay, whatever. And I that's when I saw that. I was, like, she's kind of soft. Like, she's kind of, like, souring on me. Like, she's not really doing much. And then I saw a TikTok, basically, of a girl saying, like, the same thing but she really like she encapsulates like what i meant to say and she's basically saying like well they're not doing anything on behalf of themselves like everything that's going on is on behalf of well it's on behalf of them but all the men around them are like doing it and i feel like they're trying to like make it seem like like women are not like can't be like 
cruel or making the character the characters like so incredibly likable to us and it's kind of like damaging it for me because i i'm ready to see like them you know committing war crimes and you know doing these atrocities like i want to see that i want to see like you like the crown got taken from you you were already queen you were like coronated like you're next in line and the crown got taken from you you got dragons you got some people behind you why are you not like doing anything about it like literally like she should have slit allison's throat right there when she met up with her she didn't like that's the type of shit that i'm trying to see like real fucking nasty bloody gory shit you know on both of their parts and i'm not really seeing that um so yeah that's what you what you just said you want to see is in game of thrones actually and they got fantastic female characters in those first seasons and stuff that yeah. you'd like and unfortunately it doesn't end well which kind of sucks i get it but you would love you would love the, those first seasons you, you absolutely would uh Cersei, i have seen the first seasons just uh, not Cer- every episode not like just here and there you know but yeah yeah it's just kind of like it's it's kind of not stale because shit is happening but like i want shit to happen from them like they're not doing anything they're just talking and they're trying to end things and it's like no bitch you're in the worn out like like stand on business you know and it just yeah it's kind of like souring on me a little bit yeah yeah Uh, like i said uh, for the most part those june into july shows were disappointing for the most part so kind of sucks but there you guys go any final thoughts before we head on august Deadpool at Wolverine. Deadpool Wolverine Thursday. Make sure you guys go watch that review out now. Give your thoughts on that. But, all right. There you go. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching the episode. A lot of stuff to talk about in the comments, as always. Go ahead and let us know your what, we, what you thought of the ranking. What, where do you guys have all that rank? Let us know your your ratings. What you guys did. If you guys saw it already, let us know your ratings. Uh, how much money did it make? Let us know all that stuff. So we'll go ahead and interact with y'all. But while you're down there in those comments, go ahead and drop us a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. That would be much appreciated if you went ahead and did that. For our audio listeners, go ahead and drop us five stars. That would be so cool if you went ahead and did that now as well. Appreciate it. But in the meantime, keep it locked here at LFG where we got you covered on anything and everything in pop culture. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.